Hello everyone and welcome to our cozy long play world with commentary. This is my autumn world where we are just enjoying all of the fall reds and oranges and yellows and I've loved building up this little autumn world. In our last episode, we made that mineshaft system that you saw that was all cozy and we also built a little storage section for all of the ores and materials we find down in the mines. Now today, what we're going to focus on is setting up fishing docks along both this side outside our mining outpost. And I also want to make a little dock area outside our fishing hut that we made because that just makes sense. So whether you are sitting down to enjoy this long play, you're studying or working with it to keep you company, I hope you enjoy working on today's little project with me here. Now with this long play, this is the last long play that we're going to do in the autumn world before we transition into winter and our little winter long play world, which I will be restarting a brand new world with a brand new seed because I have a specific idea that I want to do and I thought about just trying to do the long play world in survival and kind of make it just like a cozy, more slowed down, world that we get to enjoy together so it's more of like a long play series that we're just going to continue building in kind of season after season and i might run that for a year or so you know hitting all of the seasons but i think it'll be a really fun time so with this being our last long play in autumn i thought it would be fun after we finish the docks if we decided to go to that ancient city since my recording long play that I made of that ended up getting corrupted and I lost it and I can't show you guys that. I figured it would be kind of fun if you guys would still be able to go to the ancient city. So that's going to be one of the things that we do today is just I get to take you to our ancient city. And I also kind of want to see if we'll be able to find any more armor trims today. I would love to be able to just get some armor trims. I only have one. I got silence in our last little adventure, but I thought it would be fun to try to get as many of the armor trims as possible and then kind of decorate some trims on some armor to kind of be the last thing we add in this little autumn world. So that's kind of the plan for today, but we need to grab some supplies, make sure we have everything we need before we start working on the dockings. And I'm gonna take a nap quickly so that we have it be daytime so we can really get the idea of how we're gonna lay this out, what it's gonna look like, all of that for our docks. So as far as where we're going to build them, let's do some free camming. Oh, and we get the lovely little rainbow over our autumn little mining post outpost area. I'm definitely gonna take a screenshot of that. That's just too good to pass up. I love that. I love how you can find the little rainbows in Minecraft. It's so fun. But as far as where we're gonna put the docks, I think I wanna have the docks on the side start and come all the way around to here because that way we can have a little boat section at different points. Maybe we'll do like three little docks that jut out and kind of just transform this area into kind of like a little dock. You can walk alongside kind of like the wharf pier ish spot and then make some docks kind of stick out from there. So I mainly want to build with spruce and at least over here, I didn't have too much spruce. I had a little bit. So I think we're going to go back over to our main area, our base area and see if we can find any more spruce in our chests. Otherwise we get to start today by a little bit of wood chopping ASMR and then bring our supplies over to build the fishing docks. And if we end up having more spruce over here, I'll probably just start building the first of the two docks over by our base area because we're going to be over there and it just makes sense. So that is kind of the plan that I'm thinking. And then since we're walking over here, I'm also going to show you where we will build our other fishing dock here. And I still love that you can see our tower kind of sticking out over it and just a little bit of smoke from our starter house. I think it is super cool. 
but yeah that's kind of my plans for today and i'm excited it's kind of fun and a little bit sad when it's like this is a seasonal world and at least where i am in the u.s we just had thanksgiving which at, is at the end of november which means we're about to transition into december and at least where i am as well we've already had our first snowfall which is kind of crazy but you know uh it is just you know the seasons come and they go just as a seasonal long play world will come and go but i'm super hyped for the winter one literally i have such a fun idea and i can't wait to uh yeah have you guys along for the winter long play world but we are first focusing on our fishing docks now the dock i want to add over here is going to be more of a wraparound so we already have one dock here but i honestly think i'm going to kind of blend that in to the side here so we'll probably make this come out to maybe around here just so there's like some more like walking areas. We can come to this side, cast our fishing rod and do some fishing off of this dock side. But then I'm also going to wrap it around all the way because I thought it would be fun to kind of have it come over here as well because then we can kind of create like a little fishing dock nook over here with a dock that kind of like juts out over here. And then we can kind of walk around the house because right now you can't exactly walk around the house with that much ease just because there's just water and not a lot of grass around so we're kind of gonna use the docks as a way to make it easier to walk around here and i think because it is a fishing hut it makes sense to have a lot of just fishing dock space and then we can have some barrels we'll add more fishing rods in some item frames around so we can just fish wherever we are but we'll have lots of chests and barrels so we can just put all of our little fishing finds in there and yeah i think it'll be great i wish one thing that we could find as we fish is a mending book because my tools are not uh doing so well and i really don't want to use my diamonds to just like repair a tool but i'm definitely not going to spend this last long play in our autumn world rolling for mending so okay we don't have enough spruce so let's go and collect four stacks of spruce I think that'll be good and then we should be all set to go and just start working on the fishing docks and we're going to use a lot of deep slate brick walls and deep slate to kind of create pillars and like retaining walls around the outside edge so I'm just going to bring some of these with me as well but yeah I think it'll be a really fun world as far as the armor trim I do have, I have Silence because we got that and this enchanted golden apple inside our ancient city. And we got these Amending and Unbreaking 3 pants. So we're definitely going to use these pants. I want to, I would like to find more diamonds. I've just been using them on tools as I need them. But I'd like to find more diamonds so that we can actually make the armor trims on diamond instead of using it on iron but you know if we use it on iron we'll use it on iron but i just think it's so cool i've never found like unbreaking pants or just armor in general in chests so i was very excited about this find but as far as pulling any other items from here i think we don't exactly need candles. We'll bring some campfires, you know, maybe we can set up a little campfire spot or we'll use this to kind of make our dock and our little wharf area look cool. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else I wanna grab. We might grab some birch leaves, but I think we're good. So we're just gonna go over and start chopping some of our spruce trees. Go over this way and we'll just get to work. Oh, I left a floating tree. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> now we can go over. <laughs> Sometimes I just like find random things that I just definitely forgot about and it's always fun. We've uh, still got our bunny just hanging out. <laughs> uh, the one thing that is kind of fun about Peaceful is this bunny is not afraid of me. I, I've said it before, but it's just so funny to me because next time the the winter world we're gonna do in just regular survival so we will have mobs spawning we will have creepers and zombies and skeletons trying to get me but we're gonna keep the mob sounds lower just because they do get a little much and i still want this to be an enjoyable long play world 
but I think I realized I liked the idea of just kind of making a kind of let's play world like how I usually do it but we'll just be building at a lot more of a slow pace where you will literally get to see the uncut version of just me creating a world like I usually do in my let's play worlds but we are going to be doing it in survival in long play form and I think it'll just be a cool different way to do it uh, obviously, I usually keep my long place to maybe like three hours, maybe four. I think I did one a little bit longer than that recently, but that's usually the time frame. So if I'm only like setting aside three hours, maybe four hours at a time to work in the long play world, it will be a very chill, relaxed, slow pace of a kind of let's play long play world. So I think it'll be really cool to try out that style. Um, one thing that I have noticed on my channel lately is I'm getting a lot more views on my long plays versus my like more heavily edited let's play videos, which I think is super interesting. I think it's always interesting as a creator to kind of test out different styles of content and see what really seems to be like resonating or more interesting to viewers at different times of the year. So in my mind, because I'm noticing my long plays being more popular and even like my Minecraft movies being more popular than just my regular like let's play episodes that are like 20 to 30 minutes. The longer ones in my mind that are more relaxing, the long plays, I think people are enjoying more because we're in like fall semester of school for most people and I think that people are just enjoying like having something on in the background as they're working or studying and it's easier to do a long play in that format of kind of keeping someone company being some like study background noise or just relaxing or sleeping to uh, instead of an episode. Because a long play, you can kind of just have it in the background. You don't really need to be like watching the entire time. You just know that it's just relaxing, Minecraft, kind of some ASMR noises mixed in. And then like you don't always need to be focused. And sometimes that's much easier to have playing in the background than watching a more edited like let's play 20 to 30 minute video so me noticing that my long plays are performing better right now is just interesting because i'm curious if that will change as people are are on like school holidays and they have a little bit more time to just like devote to more like episodes and like catching up and like people are, I know some companies are having like people go back into the office instead of continuing to work from home. So then like things like that make me wonder like is that changing uh, viewers interest in like the let's play episodes versus the longer form long plays or movies. So I am kind of curious to know what type of content you've been enjoying on my channel and kind of your reasoning. I'm curious to know from my viewers, like if you're watching more of the long plays or more of the like, let's play 20 to 30 minute ones, what your reasoning is for choosing one type of content over the other or if you're just watching it all or just not had time because you know IRL is more important like your real life has a lot going on and a lot of people just aren't able to keep up with stuff and I think that's just a part of like seasonalities of life being busier school being busier work being busier all of that so I'm kind of just curious to hear from you guys on that because that's what I've noticed recently is the heavily edited episodes aren't doing as well for views, don't have as much interest as the long plays. So I'm always curious to hear from you guys what you're noticing, what you think could maybe be part of that. And yeah, it's always fun to hear what type of content you're enjoying because of course I wanna take that into consideration as I'm making content while also still making sure I'm like, you know, enjoying the content that I'm making and also doing it so that I have fun with it because I feel like as soon as you just start doing something 
only for the sake of others, that becomes more of like a work or a little bit more of an inconvenience because you're not enjoying it the same way you used to be. So I think there's definitely like something to be said about finding a balance of like seeing what people are enjoying versus maybe just making something because you enjoy it. I think there's a little bit of both that can be happening. And it's just interesting to see, you know, like how that works out. Okay. I'm seeing if there's any other blocks we want to grab because we have enough spruce. We got a little extra and we're going to be building mainly out of spruce, our deep slate and our oak, which is basically the color palette of like every single build that we've been doing. Um, it's, it's night. So I'm going to also sleep quickly, but yeah, those are some of the thoughts that I've had about just seeing my channel and what people are enjoying the most. Um, I think we might want to chop down some more oak. So we might just go over, over by our birch forest area where we have our mining outpost. We also have some oak nearby it, but we might just try to just chop down a few trees around here and see if that can like get us a quick stack so we can just start building our dock over here. So that's probably what I'm just going to do, honestly. We'll just keep it easy like that. Hello, Mr. Sheep, how are you? Ooh, uh, there's an azalea tree over here too. That's good to know. We can get some more rooted dirt. It is crazy to me how much rooted dirt you can get just from following one of these azalea trees down. Like you get so much. I'm always just amazed <laughs> at how much you can get. It's absolutely nuts. But if you love building with rooted dirt and having that be like your like block palette for your paths and things you can you can get a lot if you like that you can get a ton now oh there's a picky now the other thing that i'm thinking to do today is i only have one armor trim and i feel like i want to just do a little bit of you know boating around once we get the docks completed to see if i can find any coast armor trims in the water over here there i think i saw a ship i don't know if i've already like looted it so we will just kind of boat around a bit potentially but i think what i first want to do after we get these docks in place, I want to take you guys to our ancient city. I mentioned before that we I lost the entire long play that was ready to go because my external hard drive that I had just kind of like died on me. <laughs> and so, oh, there's a CP that's kind of stuck. That is unfortunate. But... I still think it would be fun to bring you guys back to the ancient city so that you guys can see it and kind of experience an ancient city on peaceful, which means that there is literally no wardens or any mobs spawning at all because in peaceful, they don't spawn. So literally, I was running around the ancient city without a care in the world. So if you ever just want to explore an ancient city, but you're a little bit afraid with the warden, but you kind of want to get the like, flow of the place the layout kind of just explore and see what you can find and like maybe how you'd want to approach an ancient city in regular survival i highly recommend just doing a test in peaceful i'm checking if i have any barrel ingredients at all any but it looks like these are all empty but i would say that just try it in peaceful to see what you think of having just full ability to run around an ancient city and not have to worry about anything because i thought it was great so it definitely makes it easier to help you know like how you want to approach an ancient city in regular survival i will say so that is a plus but as far as what we're doing here i thought i had a stone cutter so we do need to grab a stone cutter because we need more of these deep slate wall bricks deep slate brick walls me just flipping my words around I still got my little cherry cape from the 2023 mob vote reward, which I think it's such a cute cape. I'm a huge fan. Um, where did I put it? I honestly think I might have legit just put it back over by our mining outpost. And if that's the case, uh, <laughs> we're going to have to build one again. Not the end of the world, but just something to kind of chuckle at. 
and I'm pretty sure that's the case. So I think I need a furnace, so we'll do this. We need an iron for the blade, and then we just kind of wait to get our smooth stone, right? Is it stone or smooth stone? If I do cutter, oh, I didn't even need you. What do you know? It was just stone the whole time. All right, um, one more. And then we can make the stone cutter. Perfect. And then I'll stick this guy back in because I don't need that. Okay, now we should be good. I don't think we need anything else. But, you know, we'll just see about it. Another thing I would love to know from you guys is when you watch these long plays, what you are typically doing. Are you doing homework? Are you studying? Are you using it as a way to relax? It's always fun to see like how people choose to enjoy the long plays and it's fun to hear like how you spent your time. I know some people say that they cozy up and they work on a knitting project, different things. And I just think that's like super fun to hear how you guys are using these. But for now, we're going to just put these things away. I don't need all of them in my inventory. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to clear up our lily pads. Oh, wait, I need uh, I need shears. I, am, I just broke a small drip leaf. I need the shears to save them. Because this is not silk touch, so... We gotta, we gotta save these little guys. Hi, little one. Come with me. Thank you. I will say, though, that I really do like that we have the big and small drip leaf. It's very nice. Very, very nice. I think one of them... Yes, I was gonna say, I think I missed picking up one. We're gonna put these in my hot bar just so I can see when I pick them up. Because it will be a little harder for me to tell. Okay, we got six... Seven, eight, and where were you? Oh, we've got seagrass. There it is. And nine. We've got the drip leaf. And now we've got to pick these guys up. Oh, no, don't go running down. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. We might be okay to start working on the docks. Um, oh, never mind. I take it back. I put some over here as well. So we'll just remove these guys. Because I think these ones are for sure going to be the ones where we're going to have this come out. So what we're going to do is just start working on adding in the blocks. We've got our axe and let's get going. Now, with our docks, I'm just going to be putting a layer around the whole dock to start things out, and then we're gonna kind of be able to see, like, okay, how far out do we want this to look? Does this look weird? I just want a kind of like first draft is kind of what I'm thinking. We're just creating the dock area around the outside. We're not gonna, you know, be tied down to any one design right away, but it's just important to start getting like a base. And this is definitely one of those trust the process, you'll figure it out things. So we're just gonna do a little bit of curving this all the way around, seeing how this looks. Oops, this is way too tall then I'll kind of know like how far out do I want this to go because I think I do want this to meet up I feel like this will make the most sense and we'll we'll just literally fill this in as well and then kind of just starting to see how it's gonna look so I want to have like pillars and retaining walls so this definitely is gonna come out a little bit further so we might go like so We'll start with two layers out and then let's go right here, curve this around, bring it out here. Cause then this kind of like creates a curve and I think that'll look nice. 
I might extend this out a little bit more just so that this kind of blends a little bit better. So we'll just uh, move these little, little guys. If I can get them out. Okay, yes. And then go like so. Ooh. Oh no, I am stuck under it. Okay, okay, we're fine. It's all good. And uh, we'll go like this for now. Like so. And like this and like that. Let me see what I think of that. Yeah, I think that'll look better. We also have these little slabs, which will go like so to extend it out. And then go like so. Move the barrel. Oh, I forgot I put things in the barrel. Nice. Okay. Um, yep. Barrel. Oh no, wrong way. Come here, barrel. Come on, barrel. I want the barrel. There we go. Okay, now I can put all the random things that I've acquired. Uh, lily pads I will need to use, so we're gonna just make sure we grab everything else that was in the barrel. Should have checked that. I, I knew I put stuff in a barrel, and I should have just known. Okay, but now you guys get to see the things we've found. Obviously, the seagrass wasn't part of it. That was just uh, part of the shears going around. But it's kind of just cool to see, you know, what we've been able to find. Our fishing rod was about to break last time, but we'll leave that be. And then we have the pillars that we need to move as well. So then we go like so. There we go. Oh, I keep getting stuck. All right. So then we add this along the whole edge. Go like so. And this comes out further as well. There we go. Okay, now we do some free gaming. I think this looks good so far. We're just gonna create the, the beams and get some barrels. Incorporate some deep slate and some oak at some point potentially. Or we might change kind of what the color palette is, but I think that having some walls to kind of keep things retained and kind of pull in our roof trim to the build itself will be good. But let's take a quick little snooze in our house here. And I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. If you guys are cozied up and have a drink or a snack by you, I'm curious uh, what you have. Let me know in the comments what you are enjoying if you've got some snacks or anything. We've got slabs here, and then I'm going to swap out the palette and just start putting in some texture. So we've got our trap doors to get some texture, but I thought it would also be nice to add just some stripped spruce and kind of use that as more of like a blendable palette instead of only having just our trap doors be a part of it. I think it's just nice to break it up. So we'll do some of this. We will use the trap doors still. That is definitely something we're gonna keep using because I think it looks really cool. Just with the little like metal kind of, I don't even know what you'd call these. Would this be like a metal like tie or just like decoration? I'm not really sure what you'd wanna call it. But I do think having some variety, some texture is important to really make it feel like it isn't just all the same. I feel like texture adds a lot to things in Minecraft when you're building. So if you're trying to figure out how you can make something look better, try adding some like texture to things and then see what you think of it. Cause that's usually the fastest way for me to be like, oh, this is, this went from a build I'm like, hmm, what do I think of this actually to something that I like genuinely enjoy. So that's always fun for me. Okay, and then I feel like this is nice right here. We will just kind of make this like a path just so people kind of know like, hey, you can come back here. So we'll kind of push back this dirt mound so that it is more of like a path 
you can come to. And we will get rid of this birch tree just because it's now floating from me moving this all away. So we'll just quickly grab this. There we go. And now it's not floating anymore. And then what we can do actually is kind of just make our path come over here. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, hello. The downside to putting things in your offhand is then it just starts placing things, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but not always what you want. There. Now we've got a little bit of a path going over here, and I think it is super fun. Look at this. Oh, it's so fun. Just a nice little way to get down to the docks here, and then we're going to... I uh, have to move these fish, but we're going to just add in a little dock system over here. So this is where we're going to jut this out. Now, I don't know. <laughs> these fish are going to fully be in my way. I guarantee it. Yeah, you guys need to move. You guys need to move. Can you just push that way? That would be great. Are you going to just... Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. You're not really moving. Can you move? There we go. Okay. Your friends weren't moving. I do apologize. But you, you gotta move. <laughs> okay. And uh, we'll definitely have to get rid of this tree because it is also a funky little floaty tree. So we'll just acquire some more dark oak. I definitely, living in a dark oak forest and clearing out space all the time amongst the dark oak trees, I definitely will not run out of dark oak for a while, which, you know, it works. I feel like that's normally how it goes. Like the biome that you pick to live in is usually the one you end up with the most resources for, or like wood types or stone types or whatever it ends up being, which is always kind of funny. So it's like, if you decide like, I want to build mostly out of like spruce, then it could be worth it to just live in a spruce forest, like a taiga area, because you're gonna probably want to use those blocks the most. So it's kind of like a good way to make sure that you're like stocked on everything you'll need there. Okay, now we've got this going around. Let's work on this dock area. And usually what I'll do is I'll kind of just like look at it from where I'm going to be walking up to it. So to me, this and probably this is where I would put the pillars because it perfectly frames our walkway into our little dock area. So then we're going to put our dock here. And what we can also do is kind of set up some boats. So it looks like we have people stopping by and visiting, or this is kind of like a an adventure starting point for people to just be able to go and enjoy looking around our world and our area. This feels a little too far. And we'll do some free cam again. I also want to put like a dock over here and like a dock right here. And this is kind of going to be like the entrance to the house where people can like stay for the night or a few days. And then we'll have little like, if people are just stopping for the day, they can like dock their boat. But I'm not going to make a dock here. Um, we're just going to put like three other little docks where our boats can kind of like hook up to our spots on these edges here. So we'll do this, put one like so, do one like so, Ooh. and then what's interesting is because we're using the brick and then in my head, I want to just like put these all the way down, but I don't want to like run out of space. Oh gosh, that's, oh, there's an axolotl. How'd you get out here, buddy? This is, this is, I'm going to use a lot more of my deep slate than I thought I would. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, it looks better when you are able to like fully bring the pillars down. Uh, but we'll see what we end up doing because I do need more deep slate. But maybe uh, this will be okay. This actually isn't too bad. Okay. Yes, yes. And we're going to just swim up to the surface quickly so I don't drown. But I think what I'm going to do is just focus on getting these docks in and just give you guys some peaceful music to enjoy. And I'll just get to work on this part. 
Oh, hi, fish. Uh, fish, you're in my way. Fish, thank you. Okay, and we'll get up to the surface so we don't drown. And pick up all these things. Okay. Now we can start working on just getting this looking nice. I want more of these deep slate brick walls, so let's go make some of those.
So what I'm doing here is I'm creating little spots for us to hang some lanterns and I think this will just make it look really nice in here and I'm not exactly looking to have all of these have lanterns but I think just having the options for lanterns will make it look really nice and then I kind of want to use some of our trap doors and spruce slabs to kind of create like a similar awning to what we have here so that when people are coming in if it's a rainy day they're just able to come underneath a nice dry dock area and not have to worry about all of the water getting on them so we're just gonna try to do that let me just pick up all my extra blocks here and looks like i need to finish out these posts here i think this is where it lines up yes sometimes it's hard to tell like where the block lines up Oop, like right there that was done it Oop, okay yep we're fine we're fine everything's fine <laughs> just you know slowly uh dying just slowly but surely okay now grab this any day now okay and pull that in oop did it again okay 
goes there. Pick up this block. Okay, perfect. Now these are all placed. Now I am going to get rid of this. Because we're going to use the stone right here. On this side. And honestly, we're just going to do this. We're going to fill it in right there as well. And same on this side. See how this works. Okay, yep, ran out of space. Okay, perfect. But it does definitely help to make it feel like it's like supported, it's not just floating. But it does take up a lot of resources because I keep running out of deep slate because of these little docks which you wouldn't think that little docks like this would do that but when you're trying to you know do things a certain way it definitely gets you okay so these we'll do too high to start there we go and I'm curious did I just do two yeah so I just did two across so then we go like so and I need a shift We'll make more of these, and then I need to find uh, where I left any of our lanterns. I'm hoping that I have more than I'm imagining I do, but you really never know. So we're going to probably have to make some more lanterns, use up more of our iron to make it work, but it, it should be okay. And then we're going to convert all of these into sticks. Make some more of these guys, make some more fences as well. And now we come back over here, like so. And like so, oh, there we go. Now we do two eye here, two eye here, two of the fence gates go like so. This one also too high too high and then we'll just go and grab more of the fence gates fence gates are actually kind of expensive to make i don't know if anyone's ever like thought that same thing but it's a lot of sticks it's a lot of just boards some planks but you know you gotta do what you gotta do okay oh that one is not correct. Oh, why are you up there, silly? And then, like so. Okay, so now it kind of looks more like we're put together. I'm liking it so far. Now we're going to add the roof bit. Now this is going to look probably a little strange at first, just because I need to figure out how I want to make this look. And it's hard to know what will look the best. And of course, like, I'm kind of going to be surrounded by the blocks as well. But if we have some of these, so if we just look at this. Yeah, it looks a little funky, but I think if we add the fence gates along the sides, it'll look really nice. And then maybe instead of having lanterns here, we could have some lanterns on the sides on some of them. So I think this is going to be nice. This will look good. We just need to figure out how, you know, we, we want it to look. And we can add these trap doors in here as well. So that at least on the top of it, it'll look nice. But we've got texture in here. We could add some campfires. Because I think over here, the campfires kind of fit in better. So we'll probably do more of those just because it'll make it look like it's worn more. So let's go like that, and then we'll try that. We'll make some campfires and see how that looks. We also need to make more slabs because I have 30, but we'll need more than that. But I think this will be good. This will be nice. Oh, I just needed to finish this corner there. But yeah, I, I think this will look great. It's always fun to kind of like experiment. Like I haven't tried building docks that look this way before and it's always fun to kind of see what you can come up with. I think the just unlimited creativity in Minecraft is something that I really enjoy. Um, just you're kind of getting to paint on a canvas, right? You get to make it completely your own. 
no one else has done the creations that you have or if you're following tutorials so that you can kind of like get the feel for things like that's another good way to learn things too like you can learn so much from other people's tutorials and content and just feel like you get more comfortable with things but let me see this oh yeah that's much better i think i don't like how they're just squares i do like them being rectangles so i might just bump this back one which I know then completely changes where I put the posts, but you know what? It'll be fine. We'll, we'll live with it. It'll be fine and dandy. Did one of those go floating down somewhere? Yes. I was like, I'm pretty sure one of them was there. Okay, there we go. Oops, I just put it back where it was. Nice, okay. And this goes here. And this goes here, and I think it's a little bit more rectangular, and I like that better for sure. So, we definitely like that. And now, we're just going to break this down, all the way down. It'll be great. Okay, I'm glad I didn't go all the way down, because that would have been a little much. Grab that fence. Okay. And then we'll add this guy in right here. Actually, we don't even need these here, honestly. If this is just supposed to fully be below it. There we go. Okay, we'll leave it like this. And then we get up out of the water. Yeah, I think this will look nice. And then we move this. And then we have... We'll probably do two fence gates, and then the fence, just because... Well, actually, I don't think we can do that. So this is the part where we kind of get to figure out what makes sense to put it where. So, if we go like so. And we go like so. Grab these. Move them over. And then we've got that. This is still three, so that is at least good. Grab the slabs there. And then we grab this. Luckily, these don't go down as far as I had to like completely move the other ones out of the way. That would be a different story. This one is literally just like, we'll just move these for the heck of it. But we really don't need to, which is nice. And then we're gonna go like so. All right. Okay, perfect. I'm also gonna get rid of some of this grass because at this point, the grass almost doesn't fit the area as good. Um, so we're gonna go like so to add more of those in. We've got some trapdoors now, so we can add them into the docking area. And some of these guys to just kind of create some different texture. It's good stuff. There we go. I really like adding texture. I think it's just fun. Like this is just, you get to kind of dot things around, see what you think of it, see where you want it. Let me see about that. Yeah, I like that better. And like, it's fine that it's like different blocks. Like they're not exactly on the same block line. You know, they're kind of just staggered a bit, which I think looks cool. But let's take a little snooze again and I'll sip some of my coffee. Always so tasty. Okay. Now I need more of the slabs. I also want to make some campfires, so we'll do that, and we've got enough of the coal, I think we just need more sticks. So let's go like that, make more sticks, and then more campfires. Okay, I think 12 should be good, and then we have our shovel. A little spoon, so that should be helpful as well. But let's just go like so. 
And then this is probably going to be pretty rectangular, which I don't like. So I think I'm going to adjust these and move them out one. Move them back. So that it's a little bit more rectangular. We'll see what I think of that. And then we move these little guys over. All right, and now I'm gonna hop up here so that I can get this one out. It's a little bit easier when you're out of water to pick up resources. I don't know if anyone else notices that and you're always like trying to pick up blocks as long as possible while you're above water. Because as soon as you go under the ground and like underwater, it's just so much harder to pick things up. Like you just go much so much slower. But I think the other thing I want to try doing is like, I know getting a turtle helmet can help you with like breathing underwater and different things. And then I'm assuming you can put like aqua affinity on it and stuff, but I just think that would be like kind of fun to try getting like a turtle helmet at one point. I've never actually like played with a turtle helmet to like know what that's like, but I just think it would be kind of fun to see how I think it actually like helps or makes a difference. Uh, obviously, like maybe I won't really like playing with it, but it's something that it's just like, well, I want to try it. So, you know, at some point, why not just go for it? Try to make it a thing. Okay. And then I think we're good here. And then if we just look at the top of it, it is still squarish, which is a bummer. Um, I think maybe, honestly, let's just get rid of all this grass. If this is truly gonna be our docks area, like we don't need to have all of this just straight grass on these sides. It almost makes it easier if it's just all of the, all the planks material. Okay. Yeah, this looks so much better. Oh, I love it. It's fun to like come back to build and just like expand upon them. Like this is looking really cool. I'm really happy with this. Now this has two blocks here and this has like three blocks. So I, I'm literally going to do it again. We're going to, we're going to push it back. Part of the fun of trying things. You get to just keep changing your mind, trying it, seeing if you like it, try it again, all that fun stuff. I do have to move these yet again. This is true. But that's okay. Oh, I'm stuck again. Okay, and then pick up all the blocks that go flying everywhere over here. I think I got them all. Did I? It looks like I did. So we're just gonna hop up here again. Now go like so. Put these there. And like that. And like that. And I think I'll like this better. Yeah, that feels better. I think I do just like it to not look like it's a square. I think that does make it look a little bit better. Even though we're literally playing in a square block game, you know. But I think this definitely looks better. And I like the idea of just like filling in the exterior with just the the boardwalk. Like making this fully a fishing dock. It's on the boardwalk. And then we can even kind of just like put in some different block textures as we go. And then just kind of scatter these in here. I think that's kind of like a fun thing to try. Like, you can literally make your paths whatever you want them to be. Like, me doing this is just something that I think is kind of, like, interesting. It helps, like, make this whole thing, like, flow a lot better. And then what we can do is we'll put slabs here as well. So I'll kind of push this back. And then if I put slabs here, it kind of just lets us walk up here and come around. And then we can also just post up some deep slate around here to kind of create like a little like fence you know a little barrier and i think this looks nice and then we can kind of just put some fence posts here once i can get this and then we can add some lanterns here i think that would look really pretty 
just like that. And we'll put a lantern on this one, and then we'll just uh, add some more. But we're gonna add the campfires next, so let me just put them by the spoon, our little shovel. And we'll add campfires to this roof. And let's make it look tattered over here. So we'll try this. And then we put out the fires. It's kind of cool that like Minecraft has this feature where you can like extinguish campfires and such. I think it's really cool. And then we'll use these three. Go like so. And then it looks kind of weathered. Oh, this looks so fun. Okay, and then we'll just do like one here, maybe one here. We're definitely going to need more campfires, but I really like making this look like it's been worn down, kind of like the shingles on the roof have been whipping in the wind and kind of falling off. And I think this looks really cool to kind of strip that down to the bare bones of the wood material. So this one's done. It does look kind of silly on the bottom because you kind of have the like look of you've got, I mean coal or whatever you see it as underneath but we've got nine here and let's do this one might be able to just hop from here honestly which would be great and then let's start right here switch it up oops didn't want that is my axe... Oh, it is silk touch. That's actually super helpful. I didn't realize I had a silk touch axe. Kind of forgot what I had, honestly. <laughs> Which, I mean, this is helpful. Okay, so it's worn like so. Let's do a little bit of worn downness right here. And I kind of wanted to have this corner one also be worn, but then we need even more campfires. Oh, I got myself. Yeah, the worn down look is definitely cool. I think I dropped materials in the water here, didn't I? Oh, I did. Man, they like sink way further down than I thought they would. That's crazy. And then we jump up here. And now we go grab some more campfires. I'm like so surprised. Campfires are also another expensive block. Like it stacks up quick. <laughs> okay. And then we come back here. There we go. Seven should be plenty for this other one. And since I fell off this, we go like so. And then we jump. And then, so these are mostly worn like so. I might just, uh, let's do a little bit more in the center here. So maybe we'll go like this. And then like so, oops. Kind of like it's broken up. And then let's do one right here. And then we'll do one on the edge here. I think putting them on the edge really like sells the whole it's worn down look even more because you see like the exposed bits and I think that looks really cool. And now we just have to add a bunch of the gates on the sides of it as well because I think adding fences and fence gates to the sides of things for like awnings and houses, it does add a lot to it. So we're going to add a lot more of those which will get a little expensive probably but it'll be okay. Hopefully we'll have enough sticks for all of this. And then convert these. I think we'll need mostly the fence gates. That's like the main thing we're gonna need. So we'll just have to get more of these. We'll use some dark oak, honestly. We have plenty of dark oak to make these. So we've got 12 and then 21, so that's good. So now we'll just expand the sides here. And we want a fence gate. So it's two fence gates on the sides here. And then one, two, three, four. Did I move them back? Yeah, they're on the same sides. Perfect. Sometimes I just have to like check wh what my math is doing to make sure I'm putting the blocks where they sh should be. 
So that's one, two, and three, and that's, you know what? We're just not gonna put these uh, fences. We're just gonna leave that one. We're just gonna use fence gates on the sides. Cause I think it'll be easier if I put a lantern at the front, but maybe I'll try adjusting that so that it's on the back because then we can jump out of the boats quicker. But we'll, we'll just see, you know, we just gotta try things, look around, because these are now uneven, and I don't like to see them be uneven. I wish you could also, like, dismantle the fences and use them as fence gates, because now I can't really, like, make any more, right? That is the bummer. Um, let's see here. We've still got some of that. Obviously, we've got five. We need a bit more of that, but I do want to try to just use dark oak. Aha! Okay. There's lots of sticks. We can make lots of the fence gates. Oops, I want spruce though. There we go. Ooh, 20. There we go. Much, much better. So the sides will just be fence gates, and then we are going to stick a fence post. Fence gate, fence gate, and then I think we've got all of these figured out. <laughs> yeah, I like it. This one doesn't really, I don't feel like I need to have those there, but this is looking good. I'm a fan so far. Now we can add the lily pads back in. We'll add some of the leaves mixed in. We'll add a bunch of barrels around the outside, some chests kind of make it look like a storage wharf type of a vibe. And I think it'll be great. So we'll kind of just put away some of these ones I know we won't need for now. Um, and then we're going to just focus on getting a bunch of the barrels and chests all sorted. So we've got that. We've got tons of barrels, lots of chests, which is great. We'll add some more barrels in the mix. There we go. And I'm going to sleep again. It's always a little bit nicer to work in the morning with more sunlight. Ah, <sighs> taking another sip of my coffee. I really want to get one of those ember mugs because I definitely have uh, the issue of, you know, just I easily just forget about my coffee and it gets cold and that's kind of just like a thing ongoing. Uh, so for this, I'm thinking that we kind of create it to look like it's like a wharf where people can like pick up logs and stuff. So that's kind of what I'm doing here is trying to make it look like you can order logs for pickup, come get them. So we'll go like so, and then I want to go like this. This would be the good time to have the rails because then I can create like a bundle. So we might go and grab the bundle of different things. But then we can put like chests around here, which is nice. We can put a chest like right here. Yeah, it's fun to like decorate like little piers and such for me. I really enjoy it actually a lot. And then I think in every single one of these piers, I'm going to replace one of these pillars and put a barrel. But I want the barrel to be sideways. So let's grab these. Go straight up again. Oh, I'm going to get stuck. And then if the barrel goes sideways, then it kind of looks a little bit similar. Mm, actually, I don't like it. Sometimes I try things and I'm just not a fan. So we're going to go like so. There we go. Okay, I think this will be easier. And then all of our fishing finds, we just put in here. So we're going to do the same thing everywhere. So, I mean, this would probably be the one. So we'll just replace this with this guy. And then we'll move that trap door. Let's put it right here. Like so. Okay. Nice, then we've got a barrel here. It's always fun for me to also try to like find, oops, pick up this. Find like fun ways to sneak in storage to places. That's one thing that I think is really fun. It's kind of like a challenge of like, how can I make this space 
cute, cozy, small, but also pack in a lot of detail. Like, I think the detail of everything is one of the things I enjoy doing as well. Just like finding the way to do the most detailed little decorative bits I possibly can. Uh, which, you know, also one of the things that I'm realizing about myself is I don't always like to make like these mega builds, these crazy large projects because I kind of get overwhelmed by making something that large. And I really just enjoy making just cozy small builds and just like adding as much detail as I possibly can. Like to me, that is more enjoyable than just trying to fit in like as much stuff as possible, as much detail and all of that as possible to like a big build. Like it just feels like it's too much. I have a harder time thinking of how to fill that large of a space. But if it's just like a little thing, you know, it's uh, it's easier to manage for me and I enjoy it a lot more. So I think that's one thing that I'm just going to like continue working on and just getting better at is just packing more detail into small areas and not being too concerned about feeling like I have to build mega builds. I think right now I'm noticing with like, especially like hardcore Minecraft, a lot of it is like building these giant builds and for me like that doesn't it's just doesn't excite me as much i would much rather do something small so the things you learn along the way about yourself and like some people love making giant builds like they love getting to see like this huge thing that's so cool that they've worked on and spent their time on just like slowly form and you know for me that's just different like not something I find as enjoyable, but everyone is different when it comes to Minecraft, which is kind of fun because then you can kind of like get a better idea of different ways to do Minecraft. Because for me, I'm not probably going to do a lot of things that require me to do like mega builds. I think at some point, maybe I'll try the whole like build a castle thing. And that is sometimes, you know, much larger but I enjoy just building small. I think that's the one style that I enjoy the most. But I'm curious what you guys think. Do you guys enjoy seeing the, the mega build types or do you enjoy more of just like the, the small builds with detail or different things like that? I think it's fun to see what people enjoy the most. So then let's do this. I am definitely going to go and grab some rails because then it kind of like ties in these little like groups of logs and I think that'll look super cool. It also looks just like overgrown and so pretty over here so it's kind of fun to just add some of that and we can even like make it like mossy over here which is really pretty. Like add some leaves, some vines to it. I'm going to clear off my poor little pumpkin just getting covered. <laughs> kind of funny. I really like actually having the, uh, the leaves be on this. I think this looks actually so, so cool. Oh yeah, looking so, so cool. Big fan, big fan. And look at that, even just adding little piles of like barrels and chests and just piles of wood and different things just makes it look cool. I really like it. We're gonna add some lanterns and leaves next. That will also look good and then We'll probably call that good for this build specifically. And then we'll start working on the docks area over by the other dock, the other like mining area. And then once we're done with our outpost, we're gonna go adventuring to our ancient city and see what other cool things we can find. It would be so cool if we could find more of the armor trims, but I don't actually know like how likely it is that we're going to find any more. Okay, so we need to make some lanterns, so we will need to unfortunately use some of our iron. And let's just see about uh, torches. Make some of those. And then we've got lanterns. I wanna make more barrels, but I'm gonna use more of our dark oak, just cause it's a little bit easier to use barrels from dark oak, cause we have so much. Okay, we've got nine. Let's do some more. 
Wonderful. We've got chests, so we'll do more of that. And we'll grab some more here. Go like so. Make some more chests. Awesome. Okay. Oh, and we can just make some rails. Okay, perfect. 16 will be plenty. And then we've still got a little bit of iron left. Hopefully I don't end up using too much of our iron so that we can just save it for when we're actually just like working on our projects with making our armor trim, collecting that. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited to add the decorations. I think I have enough leaves in there, but actually I'm going to just grab some leaves quickly because I cannot remember if I grabbed enough. And it looks like I did grab some from here, so that's great. And then I want my shears because I'm going to grab some more of these vines kind of growing off the side here. Oh, like so... And we'll grab this one. Oh, it's stuck there. Okay, perfect. I think just having a bit more vines kind of growing around those things is going to make it look really cool. But as far as decorating like fishing docks, I really like to just add piles of like cargo and then lots of just barrels and chests. Like there's lots to move around and store here. And so this is one of my favorite things to do. We just have to figure out how we want to do this. So we'll move this chest and actually we'll put it here. And then we'll go like so. And I'm actually going to move this guy. Then this looks like we've like wrapped up all of it, right? It looks really cool to me. I think it looks wonderful. Okay. And then we can wrap this up. Yeah, I'm like just thinking like, do I want to move this? Will it look weird? Will it look okay? I think this looks okay. We're like wrapping it twice. Um, but maybe I don't like that, you know? Maybe we'll just leave it wrapped once and then we'll leave this like so. And then we'll wrap up this other section here. And I think I can just wrap it like this. And then we free cam. Yeah, that looks nice. It's all wrapped up. Obviously, like, I'm not going to put it over the edge there because it really can't fit. But I think it just makes it look a little bit better. And then we'll move this barrel. We'll move this. And we'll just move this up here. So then this looks like it's all wrapped up. And then we can have, like, barrels be here around the outside edges. I think that is perfect. And then... Let's say we make another little, like, section over here. Lots of trial and error. We put our locks back. Because then I can go like so. We gotta fix that. Then it's just, like, logs around. I think this is cool. Okay, so let's add our lights. I think adding them to the end will look the best, but let's place them and then we'll step back. We'll do some free cam and decide where to keep them. Okay, let's free cam this. I think that looks good. Yeah, and then we had some just like fence gates or fence posts over here some lanterns on so we've got that one so we'll close that off and then we go like so Boop. and then we grab some more i want to like put another one of these like a little bit further down so maybe we'll move this actually just to that, so that we have some more light around the whole area. Maybe we like add it right about like here. I think that'll look good. And then it's a lot easier for me to just go like so and jump up here with all of these. And then we just grab some more fence posts. Let's see what I think of this though. If I like add them all in to all the sides 
Ooh. Oh, yeah, just adding leaves to this. Ooh, yes, yes. I really like it. So, so pretty. And then we can add some campfires too. And we'll add some of those and they'll kind of just help make it look very cute. Very cute. We'll add this to like some of the log piles so it looks like a mini log pile. That's what I think is like the cutest thing. Just the mini log piles. All right, and then this should be good. So then if I go like so, and then go like that, then it's just like a mini log pile. And I love those. I think they're so, so cute. So I'll add a mini log pile there. I feel like I also want bone meal because this is definitely not a like good enough little uh, <laughs> light source. And on the barrel, I'll actually add this one. And then over here, I think, let's put this here, just on the ground. Yeah, look at that, lovely. And then we'll add the light here, which will add a lot. I think I just need to put it here, actually. That's what I was like going for. Yeah, look at that. And then the dark deep slate look mixed with our spruce just looks so, so good. I like this a lot. And then we're just creating kind of like little piles of chests and things again, which I think will just help make it look good. I think we could probably stick one of those little like lantern setups right here as well. So I think that's another thing we can do. Probably we'll stick it like there. Oops, I guess I didn't need to remove the, the, the block. I was wanting to right click it. Okay. So now after this, we're going to work on the leaves. Once we add one of these guys and one of these guys. And then we'll add, we'll do oak leaves because we got enough of those. We might mix in some of the birch just to try something different. But I need some more of these. So six should be plenty. Then we add this right here. This here. Oops. That definitely did not work. I'm just like adding just random ones to the random spots that I don't need them to be. And then, all right, looks like we're, we're pillaring up again. So we go one and one over, and then we can get rid of these. Okay, nice. Yeah, that is so much better. That helps a lot. And I do need to like fix this path because it is hard to walk up here. And I need to like add some stairs and slabs and kind of make like a better pathway here is my other thought that I've had. But then just having just chests and barrels here works great. Doesn't Don't need a whole lot. I'm going to make this barrel upright. And yeah, look at that. I think it's great. And then I just want like a little one. Perfect. Look at that. Just a little log. There we go. Yeah, I think this is already looking so good. So we'll take another nap and then we'll add our leaves and then we'll put our lily pads and our big drip leaf back in in the places that we can add them. And we'll call this dock good, which is really fun. So I don't need any of these. We're just doing leaves now. I do need to make sure I like bring the rest of this with me. Um, we'll use the dirt for pillaring blocks. We'll add in our leaves and then we'll continue decorating the other area. But I think this is already looking so nice. I love it. So much fun. Okay, so let's add some... Yeah, I think if we mix the red leaves and the birch, it's perfect because we already have those in the palette. Ooh. Oh, I forgot about that. Mm, okay. That makes it a little trickier <laughs> because we want to uh, not have it be floating like this. But maybe we just do like little corners like so. So we kind of like fully cover it so that you can't tell that it's doing that. Right, so maybe like this, like little bunches, and then I can kind of like come down below and like drape it down. So let's just do some like that over here. Just drape it. Go like 
so yeah I think that looks fine and then we're mixing in some leaves here okay and then oops where do we want to like drape this down let's do like right here I think this is good and then we'll get rid of this one grab you and then drape this down and then let's look at this to see how it is yeah I think this looks good we'll probably just connect that up I feel like that'll make it look a little bit better oh okay. I was hoping I could jump instead of having to keep placing blocks different spots but it's okay we can we can place we can move around Okay, so then that. Now, if I go over here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Just a little bit of leaves dangling around. Okay. And we can even just like go like so. drape this around because I want all of these areas to have some leaves on them but I think what I can also do is mix some of the we'll actually do some birch on here because I feel like if we kind of blend the birch from the house over here it'll look really cool so we'll kind of do a little bit of that so we'll get rid of this, do a little bit of blending, get rid of this one, and then we can kind of go around this outside edge, do a bit of draping here. Yeah, I think that works nicely because it kind of blends the two. I like that. Picked up everything? Okay. Gotta always check. And then I want to add like a way to kind of like bring the birch closer on the roof and everything because I think it'll just help it like blend better if it's like they're next to each other so I'm gonna go like so yeah then it kind of looks like it's just like coming off of the roof and then onto the side awning which I think looks really cool I like that okay now the other two docks so I'm just gonna try and jump over here Try to go like so and then jump and this side over here is really close as well so we're just going to do the same thing we're going to do a little bit of disguising all around here put that in like so bring this out oops didn't want the red i wanted birch this one will probably have a little bit more birch because it's like closer to this, but I also want to pull this into the corners here. I think that'll be looking really nice. And then these are dark oak, so I might also try to pull in some like dark oak over here since, you know, we're in the dark oak forest. That'll make it look kind of like itself. And then this one will be the disguisey one. So we'll go like that. Disguise these ones. Oops, wow, not dirt, definitely not dirt. <laughs> okay, now we can come down here. There, and now it kind of looks like it blends a bit more. And then I need to like come off of the side here and go like so. Nice, okay. I like that. Now we're gonna jump up here again, get to the top of the roof, jump up get over here and I'm gonna get rid of this one okay and then we'll add in some of the red over on this side jump down here add a little bit right there and then zoom out 
yeah, I think that's looking good. It's kind of like pulling in the, the red from the oak leaves. It's also scattering the existing birch from the roof onto the little dock roofs. I really like that. We can get rid of our little dirt mound. We don't need this anymore. And now we move on to the last one. I really like this so far. This is great. Okay, so then we're gonna pillar up. Now, I'm gonna take actually some of these. Cause this will be what we use to blend it in. And I've been pretty sure a lot of them just like fell. Here's some. Any fall down here? Or just one? Oh, look. I didn't realize there was an axolotl. Oh, that makes sense because there's just a little... Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Just a little spot for some moss and things. Not too shit. Where was that fish? Well, it's kind of fun. There's like a little bit of a cave here. This also is helpful because I wanted to grab some clay. So we're just gonna... What's this shovel? And this shovel? Okay, so I want the clay balls. I'm not gonna use silk touch. Ooh, and we get clay. Or we get coal clay. Me calling it coal clay. You know, they both start with a C, so it's fine. But we'll grab as much coal as we can because it is hard to come by sometimes. Sometimes you're just going with one goal and something else just appears and makes you just, you know, get a little distracted. Oh, oh, the axolotl is getting them. I was like, why are there dead <laughs> fish? <laughs> I don't understand. The axolotls. It was the axolotls. All right, now we're gonna go, probably we'll use the birch and the dark oak. I think that's probably the best. And then we'll just start on this edge here, like so. Get rid of these, blend these guys in, go like so. And this one as well. Blend this in over here, chop this, put that over here, and then we're gonna start blending in some of the birch as well. So let's make this corner one be the one that is raised. We'll kind of just disguise these all around it. Same with this side and that side. Okay. Now we'll, oh, that, <laughs> that did not work at all. <laughs> uh, funny. Okay, and then this is us disguising it. And then over here, we disguise this as well. Now, let's take a look from further away. Oh, wow, that's so pretty with the sunset. Okay. Yes, I think I also want to put one here. I think that'll just make it look a little bit nicer. And then I'm going to remove this and put one as well. And let's take a look from afar. I like it. Now let's get some boats and we'll call this good. I think this looks really nice. I'm excited. And I just got to make sure I get all my blocks picked up. Perfect. Yay. I like it. It's so cute. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Love it, love it. Okay, so now... Uh, literally, I was just forgetting what I was doing. Boats, that's what I wanted. I'm like, what did I just want to collect? I cannot remember. Alright, so let's do a mix of some regular boats and some chest boats. I think that'll kind of look cool too. So we'll just go like so. Oh, we need definitely more than that. Okay. So we'll do boats like so, and then we'll make a chest boat again. We'll make like three chest boats and just like two regular ones, and then we can kind of just like put them around our area. Oh, falling down. Okay. So we can put one boat here. We can put one boat on this end of it. 
right here. And then our third chest boat we'll place over here. And then we've got normal boats. So we'll put one here. A second boat we'll put right there. And I think that's all we have. So let's just take a look. It's really dark. Oh yeah, that looks wonderful. Okay, we're gonna sleep. We're gonna add our lily pads and our big drip leaf. And then it is time to go to the other one. I think it's really fun to just build little docks like this and just even like add more detail to these areas. Now I do need to make sure that my uh, <laughs> my lily pads aren't too close to where we're gonna be boating because that's gonna be problematic just because it takes a bit for, uh, you know, you need to get past the lily pads, you need to make sure you're not actually gonna like plow them over, end up getting them just, you know, picked up and breaking them as you're going around. So that is something to consider. But I think it just adds a little bit. I like it. I think it's fun. Oh, hi, squid. Okay, we'll put some there. I won't put any here in case I, like, take the boat to this edge. But this area, I think, is pretty. So I say we do it here. And then we'll add some big drip leaf here. Because I think it looks pretty to have them around. And we're just making a fake area <laughs> where we can put some of these guys. There we go. Yep, we're just making a little little fake area so we can get some of the drip leaves here. Love that for us. And then we add in some of the drip leaves. Maybe I will put some over here. I feel like this makes more sense. Okay, and then the lily pads can just go around here. Oops. Okay, nice. Now let's take our last aerial view, and here's what our dock area looks like over by our main area. I think this looks so cool, and now we get to go... Is that a bee? There was a bee. Okay, I was like, am I crazy? I just thought I saw something. Okay, so now we get to move our blocks over. So we're gonna just take as much as we possibly can, leave what we don't need. So we've got this that we'll take with us. We need the spruce. I'm going to leave, what are the things I can leave? We'll leave the dark oak, we'll take these guys and I think we should be good. And now we can just get going to our other area. But oh my gosh, I love this, it's so pretty. Let's like, Get a little bit further away and then we'll look back behind us and really give it a good look over oh yeah look at that that is so pretty all right dock space number one complete now we get to go on our merry little way and finish the other one I really wish I had a way to get up here. That was a little bit easier. It is kind of funny seeing how long it takes to move around. But once we get to our area, we'll be set to go. This dock won't take us as long. I think we can get done with this dock pretty quick because it is smaller. Because that other one was definitely the wider of the two. And now that we already started like mapping out, decorating, like figuring out how that dock looks we know how we want to make it similar over here so i think it'll look really cool and we'll add more of those little lanterns with the deep slate and the fence post or the, yeah the fence posts and i think it'll look really cool over here oh definitely was not on the path but yeah i think this will be nice so if i just free cam this this will be pretty much 
a mostly just like square dock. So we're gonna start just putting down all of the spruce like we did before. And then we'll add in the texture blocks and all of that. So I'm just going to see what we have in here. Okay, so we've got dark oak to make like sticks and other things, which will be great. I'm gonna temporarily just like, oh good, there's also some lanterns over here and some torches ready for us. That's where that went. I was wondering where we would put that. So we're just going to, let's first torch up some of our clay. We'll move some of our other in little items around. Oh, this is where we have a bunch of our leaves. That's where I put it. I was like, I know I had more than this. All right, and we've got three, so we'll do this right here. We'll split this up, awesome. All right, now we go and figure out where we're going to be building this. And I kind of feel like I don't want it to be another wraparound. I think with this area here, I'll probably end up just adding some grass to kind of just curve this in, kind of just make it look a little bit nicer. I'm not gonna do a full wraparound, but probably kind of right where I'm standing, maybe right here. We'll build this out and kind of just fill this all in along the side. So it seems to me that I probably will like having it kind of start right here maybe and fill out the docks. So kind of just meeting up right over here I think will be good, which is probably about like six to seven blocks I would say. So we can just start working on getting all of the planks laid down and then once it's filled in, we can kind of decide from there if I'm kind of looking across the way here. I feel like this will probably be good. Maybe we'll do one less. One less I think will be great. Okay, so then we're just gonna go fill this in all the way around. Get the, the base first draft laid down. Step one is to just place the blocks. Place them where you want them to be, where you think they'll look good, and then you fill in the rest and then you can kind of texture it, do everything else from there. So this will be good. What's nice about us being over here is because we're by our mine shaft system, our little like mine cart area, we can easily just run down to the mines if we need more deep slate, but I'm pretty sure I just have more deep slate down here because we're just, you know, building, moving, grabbing supplies underground and checking for diamonds and all of that. So I also was just thinking about it and I think Got some rain for some cozy, rainy dock building vibes. Gotta love that. But I was just remembering, I think I actually have more diamonds in our enchanting tower. I think I ended up just moving all my diamonds over there because I'd probably be enchanting like armor and things in there. So I think that'll be cool to see if we can uh, find more of our diamonds there. Otherwise, we're just gonna be a little bit low on diamonds, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I also think another good thing about us planning to go over to the ancient city is we can probably find some diamond armor in the chests and use that to make our nice little, little armor stand with the armor trims. So I think that'll be great. But looking at this, I feel like this is good. I don't exactly, wow, it's so funny how like you just step far enough away and like you can't hear the rain sounds. But I don't think I like how this is just like boxy, so I'm probably gonna curve this a little bit. And then we'll just work on getting the shape right for everything else. So I'll probably go like so. Grab the blocks that I missed. And I also have to add the deep slate on the edges too. So we'll kind of just see how this looks. Oops, didn't mean to refresh the shaders. So let's grab some of these posts. Now that it's raining, I also like don't want to sleep because it's fun to have the cozy rain vibes as we're building this. So we'll do, we'll probably do a dock like right here. Let me just see how this looks. Yeah, I think having like a dock on the edge looks nice. So then, do I like how far out that is? No, we'll definitely go a little bit further out. Maybe one more. Yeah, I think that'll be good. 
And then we'll go like this. Go like so. Bring these, bump these up. And now if I look at this, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna move this clay so that I can actually put down a full post so it looks a little bit better. And then just because we stick this out on the edge, we'll go like so. So this is our first little dock. Lovely. Now I need more of the deep slate. Did I have a, ooh, there we go. Perfect. And now I'm gonna grab the stone cutter. And uh, I think I wanted to have, oh, I already had one out here. Okay, this is just extra. We'll put you there. Then I was gonna say, I think I wanted to have like a little like outdoor work area here. So I'm, I'm glad I actually like had that. Okay, now our next little dock area, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And maybe this will be it like that. And then we'll do one, two, three, and then this will be this one as well. So then if I just start filling this in with the blocks. There we go. And we go all the way. And this goes here. This one goes here. And like so. Yeah, I think I like this placement. I actually might go like one more over to the right because I want to have a third dock on this side. And I think we'll just make like a bench seating area because I think we can just like sit down and like look over this edge here will look really nice. So I'm actually going to slightly move this over. We're, we're changing our minds just a tad. So we'll get rid of these two. And then go like so. Of these grab my my blocks did i get everything there's this one to grab and that one to grab all right and then grab this okay and now we'll put this there this one here this one here and this one here And then right here, oops. Okay, and then get to the surface before I end up running out of my oxygen. Come on, there we go. Okay. Oh, I should breathe a little bit more before I try to do this again. <laughs> uh, funny. Okay, let's take a little breather break. Oh, hi, squid. Hello. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, let's test this out now. Yeah, this will definitely give us enough space for a third dock. I like that. Place these guys here. And I kind of want to, like, remove these. And then uh, fill this in right here. Just so it kind of, like, fits a little bit better. There we go. I like it. Oh no, the squid did die. That's so sad. You know, extra ink is always nice, but it is a little bit sad there. Okay, this should be enough to give me enough little walls to post here and on the other dock. Now, let's see. We did one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, so we'll do again. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do it right here. Oops didn't want to actually use the wood. Now we use the wood. So we have one, two, three. Oh, I ran out. Okay, one, two, three, and then posting this here. Go like so, go like so, and then go all the way out. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, we need these blocks. And there we go. Put that in my offhand. Like that. Awesome. Okay. 
yeah, I had more than enough. And looking at our three docks, I think that looks really nice. And then we'll just add a little like bench area here. So maybe we go like this. We'll, we'll get rid of these ones. And then we'll put a little like awning over here as well. Pick up this block. Did I leave anything underground? Whoa, the sounds underwater are kind of cool. Okay. Sometimes I just get distracted by like the cool sounds that Minecraft added. Like underwater, that sounded really unique. It sounded like a low like humming. Okay, so then we've got a little something here. This isn't really gonna be like a dock dock. This is gonna be our little like awning. So, oops, I don't want this. Get rid of this. Add these guys. And add these ones. And do this all the way around. I'm pretty sure I'll have to go make more of these. I don't have enough, but that's totally fine with me. Okay. And... Okay, so I need at least... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 11. So we can easily make that. I'm just going to check in case. Huh. Literally, that's exactly what I was hoping to find. I was going to check in case I could find more. Just hiding in other barrels. We love to see that. Those are oak, so I don't want those. Any other spots where I might have hid things? Okay. So we'll just make more of them. And that's enough. Awesome. Okay, and finish this over here. Finish this over here. There we go. All right, and now we get lots of our slabs. We have a lot of dark oak. Not so much spruce anymore. We literally might have to go just like chop more of this. Not even kidding. All right, we're getting lots of XP. For lots of pots. We'll actually just leave the bricks in here for now. Man, I didn't realize I'd be uh, out of spruce so quickly. I'm building out of a lot of it, so like I, I do understand why that's happening all right so then we've got two of these we need more of these for sure oh yeah the spruce trap doors that i'm using is definitely taking up a lot of that no doubt whatsoever okay so i'm gonna make a little bench right so we'll make a little bench and then that will be kind of our little spot. So this will be our little like fishing bench area. Grab that block. And I really kind of think putting it like right here is good. Little, little bench. Actually, let's make this dark oak. Let's actually make there be some kind of contrast on here. Uh, we could make the bench out of stone, but I feel like that's just a little too harsh. A little too difficult. You know, not exactly the comfiest little thing. Okay, so we've got those, and then we're making stairs, and we only need the four. I'll put these stairs back, because I really don't need them. But I think having some contrast is better. So we'll go like so. Let me see what I think of that. I'm going to push it back one. So then we go like this. And then we see how that looks. Yeah, and then we give it a little awning. And then just some little barrels on the ends as well, and it'll look cute. But the main thing we need to do is get roofs on things. Let's start here. Oh, Diz did not want to use those. All right.
And these are very square right now. That's the other thing. I'm like making these uneven and they're just squared. So let's move this back like we've kind of been doing already. Just slide them back. We'll probably end up doing the same thing over on these other ones as well, just to kind of make them fit better. Oops, that didn't work. Oh, there's the sun. Nice. All right, so then we'll go like this. We moved it back so it looks more rectangular. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. And I only need two of these, so this has to go. This goes here, these go there. Same on this side, we're gonna get rid of these and then we're gonna grab these guys just two of them. One goes like that, one goes like that, and then we also get rid of this one. Oh, I guess I only had one there. At least I think I did. Let's check the water. Yeah, okay. We'll just grab our slab here. Hmm, all right. Now, let me grab some dirt here. I'm actually just gonna, before I even like start, <laughs> we're just gonna like expand this back. I feel like that'll just, it'll already make it a little easier, but we can just go like this to get the outlines. Now we need more of our spruce. It's always like scary when you start to like run out of spruce. You're like, okay, will I make it on just this little bit I have left? I don't really think so, but, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> We've got lots of campfires, so at least we can make those look good. Okay. And looking at that, same size, nice. And then, I forgot to move these back. <laughs> I was like, why does this look silly? <laughs> Looks a little uneven. That would be why. Okay, we've got the one there, go like so. Break these up, go like so. Then, Grab this one. Okay, we've got some of these. There we go. All right, then we get rid of this guy, put this here. All right, this is better. Now it matches. I was like, why are these the same? Like I thought I changed them by a block. All right, so there we go. Falling under.
All right, and these are all figured out and I think they look nice. Now we just gotta add all of the texture blocks around them. I also am gonna make a little awning roof over on this one. It's not gonna be like really that large, but it's gonna be a little something and we'll slowly kind of like have it be going down one block by one block so that it creates like a smaller little guy and I think it'll look good. Smaller little roof, you know, like a slanting roof is more so like what I'm imagining. So like we'll have this be two blocks and then it kind of slants in the front more. So then we would go like slanty. And then slanty again, except we gotta fix these guys. There we go. And then like that, just enough to like cover this. So I think this will look nice. We'll just do like three. I think three blocks will be good. And then we could even add like some, If I mean, I don't have enough spruce right now, but if we go and collect more, we could put a little bit of a trap door right here. I don't have more than three, but I think then it'll look a little bit better. So it's not just like connected by just one pixel. It's got like a little bit of like a more smoothed out edging. So we've got this going for us. We just need to finish this. And then, um, let's see. I'll start grabbing some of these guys out. And I do need more of these little slabs. I wanna say this should be enough for now. So let's just try this and then we'll sleep through the night. Okay, and then, yeah, just a little awning. I'll probably add a little bit of like pillaring posts just so it looks a little bit nicer. So we can kind of just change this a little bit. Okay. And then we can kind of just make it go out like this. I think that looks fine. Maybe though, we bump this up. So these are all the same. And then where were the other blocks that fell? I like heard them splashing, but I need to make sure I get all of them so that this thing can get fully fixed. Okay, I feel like this will look better. Just like a slow, gradual, yeah, I like that better. Okay, so then I just need three more. Slowly but surely, where we're getting there. And then just like that. Finish out this roof. And there we go. Okay, and up we go. Yeah, it definitely helps to have it look like this. I think I'm just gonna grab some, uh, another bit of dark oak and, or not dark oak, but deep slate. I always kind of think like dark slate because that's true too. It's dark slate and deep slate. I always get them a little bit confused. And I put them in here. We'll grab these, we'll grab these guys. Now that it's also daytime, it's easier to see, which makes it even better. Go like so, go like so. Oh, we just have fence gates, all right. Well, we can, I'm actually not gonna put fence gates here. I feel like that'll just be a little bit more difficult, but we will fill this down like so. Oops. Yeah, I could have used my shovel, but you know, sometimes you just do funny things. <laughs> okay, shovel goes there, and now I can just get rid of this block. Where did it go? There, I was like, where did the extra one go? Okay, there we go. We'll 
We'll definitely need more deep slate to finish that out, but we'll do that at the end more so. So let's start putting all of the fence gates along our sides because we know how this is going to look already. And then we'll go like so. Actually, this is going to change. There we go. It kind of is like really nice once you get into like a rhythm of like what exact blocks you need, like what you're gonna be making, all of that. It just makes it so much easier to make all these things. Okay. That's our last bit of spruce. It is a bit scary, <laughs> but I think uh, we'll probably need to get more, but you know, that's okay. I really don't mind having to go and get new new resources because it's just enjoyable so i need one two three four five six so if we can make six i will be happy about that all right so we need dark oak to give us more sticks one two three four five six awesome okay and we still have some spruce left over which is great love to see that okay so then yeah, that's looking nice. Let's do some of the just fences. I think nine should be good. We definitely are gonna go and get more spruce for us. That is no doubt in my mind. Because I also wanna like use some of the like full stripped spruce. I'm also curious to see if I happen to have left anything like in here at all. Because I added chests in here, but I don't think I decided to, like, leave anything in them. And I don't think I added any, like, storage in these ones yet. Maybe I did. Kind of doubt I... Oh, I started adding some. We've got copper and things in here. That's about it, but, you know, we've got stuff. <laughs> okay, let's do this. And we'll do 16 here. I do want to start smelting up more of the copper. Just because if I want to, like, do anything with it, I definitely want to potentially make, if we have time, one of the Trail Ruin brushes, the little archaeology brush, and see what we can get down in there. Um, let's take some of these campfires and make the, like, worn out look to these. So let's go like so. And see how that looks. Ooh. Owie. Didn't like that at all. <laughs> and then we'll mix two over here. Oops, did not need that. It would be interesting if like by placing blocks on top of it, you could also get them to kind of just like get extinguished. We'll need a lot more campfires, but we can definitely use dark oak for that. So let's see about using dark oak, because we've got plenty of that. Yeah, so what are we missing? We want more sticks, so let's just do this. And I was going to add more to the other one, but let's just start here first. Okay, there we go. I'll pick this one up. Place you back down. I'm very happy that, uh, like, very glad that we don't have just, like, campfire setting our wood roofs on fire. Like, it is really funny that, like, I can just have an open campfire on my roof and it will not catch anything on fire. But if I happen to have just like, you know, a lava pit too close to my wooden builds or anything like that, it just like, or just flint and steel, you know, anything like that, like, it'll, it'll catch fire. But you know, this, this is fine. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. Okay, so then let's go like this. Put them all in here. Oop, oop. Burning my toesies. Not what we like. Ah, again, got my toes. 
Okay, and then I feel like there needs to be like something over here. So we'll just take these two out and get them like that. Yeah, I think they look really nice when they're worn out like this. And I have three left, so I think I'm going to add like one or two more around. This roof I feel like is good, but I actually do want to add some on this roof. I feel like that is actually what I'm going to prioritize. And I need to remember that this level won't work for it. So I have to come down here if I want to get the same level. So then maybe we go like so and get this one. Go like that. And then what I'm thinking is, does this work? It does. So if I just put like trap doors like right there, I think it just like makes the curve a little bit easier. So we might just do that, but this is looking good. Now we put our logs everywhere and make that look really nice. I think what I want to do instead is let's do some of this texturing quick. There won't be as much of this because I literally have seven of these, but well, we can still get some of this texturing in before we have to go back and like resource collect some more. And I'll still put the little like hole in here where I can have my barrel like that I think is like a very easy fun way to get storage so we'll just do that on all of them and I'll put a barrel we'll put two barrels here so I'll just get those out of the way now we go looking for blocks okay coming over here Perfect, it's just sand. All right, perfect. Now, what I wanted to do next was start putting the le the little barrels, chests, all of that. We'll use dark, oh yeah, I wanted to finish using the spruce. I'm like getting distracted because I'm trying to like do a bunch of things. It's funny how that works, isn't it? Okay, so this looks good, you know, getting some texturing in. We'll, we'll get more and then we're going to use dark oak and the stripped oak to create our little like piles and then uh, down in our minds I think I had more of the rails in this little mining outpost but let's just put like some of them right here obviously we'll make this face a different direction go like so There we go. And then we'll go like this. Go like here. Go like so. Like this. I'm trying to just like put a bunch of these little like wood log segments right here. And then if we go like so, we'll make a little pile here, get rid of these guys. And then we can just, you know, add some barrels around. I do like when the barrels are upright like this though. Cause then it like feels like it's more like strapped and secured in a sense. And I think it just looks a little bit better. Okay, and then I wanna add some over here just so like people can kind of see the chests and barrels from out at sea more. Okay. And then we can go like that and I'll grab rails and then we'll take a little snooze. I have to figure out, I had a bunch of them. Okay, I was going to say, I know I had them. <laughs> Don't know where they went, but I had them. And now we'll take a little snooze. All right, perfect. Now let's go wrap these little log piles up. I think it's so fun using just rails for this. Like, I think this looks so fun, like so cool. And then we'll just go like so to add some of that. There we go. Adding some over here. There we go. Love that. Okay. And then me 
maybe we'll just like make a little log pile like right here. We'll move the flower. And then we can kind of just like place this right here. And we'll put a barrel right here. We'll put some little vines right here. And maybe we'll switch this. Maybe instead of being here, we go right here. Yeah, I like that. And then we do like so, like so. Add some of that there. Oh yeah, and then our barrels right here. Putting a barrel right there and a barrel right here. Literally just like spamming a bunch of chests and barrels around outside already fills this area up so much and makes it look so much more like filled, lifelike. There's like actually things going on here. And especially when we start adding in the boats, like these piles, I think just make it look so cool. I love it so much. It's just so fun for me. Like these things, like the detailing is the funnest most enjoyable things, I would say. All right, dark oak, we'll use you. Make some more barrels. Uh, I wanna make the barrels out of the actual like dark oak. So let's do the barrels. So it's just, okay, mostly these guys. So, there we go. Okay. And I think I filled this one in. Yes, so it was just one last little fill in hole right here. Nice. And let's do another log pile right here. And then we got this. The sheep's just in the background. I didn't notice the sheep. I just saw like some like ominous little like gray thing just appearing and I was like, oh, what's this? And for this one, let's double wrap this with the rails. I think it'll look kind of cool. There we go. Oops. Clearing these out. Let's put that there. And then we can put chests, barrels, barrels, chests, chests. And then look at the side view. Oh yeah, this looks like it's literally like meant for like export. I think it's so fun, ugh. Fishing docks are actually one of the things that I'm realizing I actually really enjoy building, but I just don't do it too often, right? Like, it's funny how that works. You like find things where you're like, this is actually really fun and enjoyable, but I haven't really like done a whole lot of, and then it kind of makes you wish you'd do more of it. But that is the beauty of just, you know, getting to try new things. Okay. And we'll go like so. The barrel, I want it to be upright. A barrel. Put chests right there. We can stick another barrel. We'll go right there. And then we get more rails from our little inventory. Lovely. Okay. Go like that. And then on the other side, that works perfectly. Nice. Oh, this is looking so cool. Okay, so we've got all of these areas figured out. It's just kind of like texturing and leaves. Those are the last two things we have to do. So I'm gonna put away all these other things and we're gonna pull out, let's see what leaves we used. We used the birch and we used oak again. So we'll do the same thing. I know I have a lot of these, not as much birch. So that'll kind of just be like the, the sprinkled in thing every so often. 
And then another thing we can do is add in some glow berries because I think on some of these, yes, the glow berries will still work, which is helpful. So this will probably get a little bit more glow berry action since we have, we can actually like build that up. And I can't put any here, but like we're not doing a whole lot to this section since it's mostly just meant for doing a little bit of fishing, relaxing, that kind of thing. Then we've got that. Nice. And that'll just look good over time. And then another thing I want to do is start get clipping some of these. And then adding them over here. Kind of like mossy. It's just had like barrels sitting for a long time, getting mossy, overgrown, all of that. But let's start over here and add all of our leaves. So let's do a free cam view of what we have so far. And we need the lanterns too. Look at this. This is coming together so nicely. I like how I also was like, this will be much smaller. And it's literally like the same size <laughs> as what our other one is. So it's kind of funny how that works. Okay. So this one will be, let's put this in our offhand above. We'll sneak these ones around it. There we go, and then we can kind of go out like so. And we'll do a little bit of sneaking over here as well. And go like so. Then this one we'll kind of let droop down. Same over here. We'll let this one droop down. And then we can kind of just take a look. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit more to the side. Let's go like this. So I feel like it needs to have like something kind of in the front a little bit, just like off here. So we'll probably just like blend some in just a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And I feel like that'll look a lot better. Yeah, and maybe we'll just let one come off the front here like so. And then go like this and see how that looks. Yeah, I like that. And then drop this down so I can pick it up. And I guess same with this. Perfect. <clears throat> I feel like sometimes this is like the fall season and like me clearing my throat, I'm just like, man. Am I, uh, catching something? Because I feel like I have a little phlegm in my throat, you know? When you just feel like you might be getting sick, like your body's just a little bit like, hmm, I don't know if I feel, uh, normal, Red. I don't know about this. Okay, and then over here. We'll go up right here. Wow, this is really like shooting my little like building ingredients. I always say building ingredients, building blocks. Why do I say ingredients? We're not making like a pizza. <laughs> We're building docks and I'm comparing it to like pizza. Like what am I doing? Really silly. Okay, did all of the, nope, I was gonna say. Sometimes this is like shooting all of my things out way farther than I want it to. I feel like this is nice though. So let's take a look. And I feel like something needs to come right here. So I'm going to take this. Okay, and then let's take a look now. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Moving on to the next one. And let's just start here. And then we'll just move these, make this one be the tall one, go off the side over here. I think that'll be good. Go like so. Like so. And like so. Now let's look at it. Yeah, I think it looks nice. 
Once we actually get the little bits of lantern and light going in here, it's also going to make it look so cozy. I'm so excited for that. Okay. I have to like find where this is like perfectly even with the like block level because it makes it easier for me to just do something. Like I have to break these in order to place, which is kind of a bummer. Okay. That goes there. Okay. And then I think with this, we should be good. Where we can just, like, start pulling these down a bit. And out here as well. And let's just free cam this. Ooh, I want to add something, like, right there. So we're going to go back up. Add one. All right, now if we look at this, yeah, much better. Okay, so this looks good. We're going to go make some lanterns, add some light posts with the deep slate. All right, we've got a lantern over here. We've got some torches. Where's iron? We might have to... It, I moved it downstairs, I'm pretty sure. I was going to say we might have to go down into the mines or something, but I think I just moved all of my iron into the storage house so we're using the build that we made recently and i had iron here we go okay and then i have a crafting table in here so let's do this we have a bunch of lanterns oh yeah and we'll put this back for our iron love it okay now oh i also need to finish uh <laughs> this post can't forget that and I do like having both of the lanterns here. And I'm going to shave this little guy down. Shear them. Just because I don't want them getting too much. There we go. There we go. And we'll clip you. Right there. And right there. Awesome. Okay, let's do a little free cam. Oh, yeah. Look at this. How did that get there? That's very far out to get a block shot out there oh and there's some campfires on there too oh but this looks so good and cozy i love it oh yay okay this is turning out so good but we need more of the lanterns so we're gonna grab our deep slate and what else did i need i wanted fences i think those are really the last things that i needed um Let's grab this deep slate as well, just because I probably am going to convert this so we can make the stairs, like the, the posts downward. Okay, and I definitely need more fence posts. Okay, let's try this. There we go, okay. So it seems like we might want to put, I have to like figure out where I want these because I don't want them to be in the way, but I also want to make sure this lights everything up. So maybe we end up putting one like right here. And that could be good. And then we'll put that right here and have this offshoot right here. And then we add a lamp post here. Hmm. I almost think I'm going to move this over. This makes it easier to just go like that. Okay. Go like so and like so. There we go. I like that a lot more. Okay. So then we come into here. And uh, there seems to, like, I feel like I need something to be here, but I also don't want to, like, interrupt the space. Like, I don't want to, like, just stick down a lantern light just because it feels like it needs it. Like, I'm not sure if I want to go with that. Okay, but there should be, like, a lantern here. 
Um, hmm. There's not really like a lot of space to put something here, but maybe we just like put some lanterns here. And then maybe it's just like a lantern. Post like so. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't know if I like that either. But maybe if I go like this. Because this is only one, two, this is four. Well, technically one, two, three, four, five, and six. But it still doesn't like work the best. I feel like I need to have like two of them. Just like here. And I can't do that with the leaf. That's the only other problem. So let's do this. And see how this looks. Yeah, that still looks good. And then this area has lighting as well, which I think helps make it look really nice. So if I just go upwards and outwards, look at this, it looks so pretty. Oh, I love that. All right, I think I'm gonna call this dock area done. I'm really happy with how this looks. We just need to add the boats. And then we get to go looking in our ancient city, see if we can find any more armor trims. I'd love to find diamond armor just so that we would be able to use that to make our armor trims look really nice. So we're just gonna drop this off. I'll bring blocks to like pillar with. And of course I'll bring a bed. Last time it got super, super like rainy, stormy, and we just had to deal with the, the thunderstorm. Uh, but let's add some dark oak boats. I think those are the only ones I really feel like adding right now. And we've got four chests so we can make some chest boats. So we'll go like so, and we'll make one, two, three, four, five, six. We can make some chest boats. Get those all added. Okay, and then we can make some additional boats. All right, so now let's put the boats down in the dock areas. Put one there and one there. It's so fun to just like expand on areas. I I love how the docks turned out. I'm literally like so happy, like just filling them with little like spam groups of chests, logs, barrels, like all of that just makes us look so, so good. And I'm so happy with it. And then let's just, I want this to be like a fishing dock. So I'm not exactly gonna put one there, but I think just like in between. So let's look at how this looks. Yeah, I like that. And we'll just place one down over here if someone wants to like come in the side. But I think we're, it looks like the sun is coming up, but I am gonna see if I can sleep through this night. Just because, okay, we can. Now we can take a sip of coffee. Beautiful, okay. Well guys, we've got the docks all made on both areas of our base. I love these autumn docks with the autumn leaves. I think this is so pretty, but now we get to go on an adventure to find some of the fun little uh, ancient city finds. And I do wanna take some of this copper because my idea that I had was to try and find, we're just gonna take all of this so I get the XP, but I would love to find some trail ruins along the way. I know exactly where I need to go to find what we're looking for and find our ancient city, but along the way, I think I'll be able to actually get us uh, a, a trail ruin find. So we're gonna quickly run back to our base area. I've got a bed, we've got some wood to build with, we've got copper, and I think uh, for the brush, I haven't found like a chicken yet, <laughs> so I, I do need to go find a chicken and uh, give him a good tap because I need a feather for making this. So we're just gonna go looking for chickens as we head home. Is that a chicken? As a sheep. Okay. Another sheep, pig. Mr. Pig, have you seen a chicken? No? Okay. 
Well, thank you anyways. All right. Any chickens up top here? Maybe I'll like collect some seeds. If I put seeds in my offhand, maybe I'll just happen upon a chicken. You know, sometimes you're not really looking for them, but because you've got the seeds, they just they just come out of the woodwork. They just come out of nowhere. But I I know I have chickens in our little animal barn, and I don't necessarily. I'm just gonna fall damage this because I'm unpeaceful. So my my energy always just re refills. But I think the only <laughs> uh, chickens that I have are in the animal barn. Oh, and look at this. So pretty. I love how this turned out. This is just so much fun. I think I also do like the idea of having like a really like long-term world. Like I've never really done a long-term world because I'm partially just scared that when I like update the world that I will accidentally like break something. I'm gonna quickly check if my diamonds are in here because if I have extra diamonds in here, like that'll be great. Okay, I don't know if I need string. I don't think I do, but I'm just grabbing it in case. But we're gonna check for our diamonds quickly. <clears throat> but I do like the idea of a long-term world. Okay, I have zero diamonds. Lovely. It's because I used them on all of my tools. Okay. But just seeing like those dock areas alone change and look so much better like that just makes me so much more excited to just try to make it a longer term world all right i do not have any seeds uh or i don't have any extra chickens oh maybe i can get some from these ones okay none from you but we're just gonna have to breed you guys up okay i'm sorry for needing to kill you after this if you give me just a feather this would all just be so much easier. Are you just gonna give me meat? Please give me a feather. Okay, thank you. I didn't want to keep killing you guys. I was a little nervous there. <laughs> okay, um, we'll, oh, we'll put some meat somewhere else. Yeah, okay. So can I find the brush now? I think it's a stick. I think it, I already have what I need, right? Oh, I needed to have the crafting table. Okay, I was gonna say, I think I have everything I need. So I can make two of these, because I have two feathers. So let's just make the two of them. I didn't need string, so we'll just leave the string here. I'm sorry, chickens. Thank you for your sacrifice, though. Okay, so we've got pillaring blocks. We've got a brush. I'm gonna bring some iron in case I use iron tools. If I want to, like, keep my diamond stuff in good condition. But let's just quickly, we've got a bunch of torches. I will bring some iron. So we're looking for more armor trims and we're also gonna go and look for a trail ruin. I've got a bed. We've got all the tools and things we'll need. I can make a crafting table. So like we're good on that front. And we can probably grab a boat. Did I make a boat anywhere? Let's just make a, a birch boat real quick. Okay. Now, let's go on an adventure. Watch over my house, Dago. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, as far as where we need to go for our first trail ruin, we are gonna be going to, I'm trying to like think. Our ancient city is over yonder, very far. And so we're just gonna start going that direction. And so we're gonna go south and then on our X axis, we need it to go, we're just gonna go to positive. So we're just going south, south and west. So that is our plans, going south and west. And I think what I also am going to do is let's try boating along the shoreline and see if we can find any just sunken ships along our journey because we are going west and we'll be going south. So we're going to look for some coast armor trims as we go. So we're just going to enjoy some peaceful just boating. I'm taking off my shaders really quickly 
This is what my area looks like without shaders, by the way. In case some of you just were going to play this in like straight up vanilla, it still is such a pretty area, even without the shaders. I love it so, so much. Like, it's still so pretty. But we're just going to look for some sunken ships. That is our goal. Going south and west and looking for sunken ships. So I think I'm just going to keep my shaders off because if I have the shaders on it just feels like it's very glassy and it makes it a little bit harder to see like further away right like right now I feel like I can see a lot more of the water than I can with the shaders the shaders kind of creates kind of like a reflection where I can't see as well so even though I like the shaders sometimes for the greater good oh there's the ocean I don't know if I could get a, uh, a trim, but maybe I could. Maybe let's try to get an ocean monument trim. Because I don't think they're going to hurt me. Let's just try it. We'll see how this goes. Because I can just make some doors, and I don't think any of the guardians would actually, like, hurt me. I think they'd just be there, so I think I could just try to kill... Uh, the bigger guardians and then we'd be able to get out and I th think we can just you know continue on our way from there and I think we'll be good I think that'll be a great way to find our way around things I never actually like thought of this until just now like I could get a I don't even know what they call the uh, the monument trims like is there like a specific name for these ones I don't even know but I've never actually like been able to go inside one of these without being attacked, so it's kind of fun. But we do need to get some boat, some like doors. So let's take some doors here. Okay, and now we're just gonna go in. Is anything living in here? Oh, I don't know if anything's gonna like be living in here. Hang on, let me see. Is there even... There's a sponge room. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'm glad I, like, free cam through this. Because I would have literally just spent so much time. Okay. Literally, nothing lives in here when it's peaceful mode. Good to know. Good to know. Let's just leave then. Alright. Learning things about peaceful mode. <laughs> All right, so we're going south and west still, so that's what we want. I'm going to take these off again just so I can make sure I can see any any possible ships. I'm also going to just do a little bit of free camming because I do want to make sure we can, like, make our way to our ancient city, find some boats along the way if there are any, but not go, like, too off course. Oh, there's a ship. There might be some... Oh, wow. There was... I forgot how close these monuments are. I think you can find pottery shards in those, but you can't find it much else. So we're just going to keep going this way. We'll see where our accords are at. We're at four. Oh, we're actually, like, kind of already there. So now we just need to go to positive 56. And then we can find armor trims, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we're just going to go straight down to 56. And then we'll just start dusting for a trail ruin, see if we can find any trims. And then we'll continue on to our nice little ancient city. I've never actually explored a trail ruin, so I'm really excited for it. But we're going to sleep quickly because it is getting really dark. I feel like if I'm going to be running around at night, I need to make sure I'm, like, holding a torch for you guys. Because it does get very, very dark quick. I don't need doors anymore. But now we're just going to 56. So we should just run into a trail ruin at some point here, which is super exciting. And it looks like we're just in, like, a birch. What is this? Dark forest? And we're at that. Oh, I think you just ate grass. I was like, is this one? So it should be like around here. 
56. Hmm, this doesn't seem right. 56 and 408. Can I like see anything? Oh, there's some mine shafts. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't seem correct. So maybe we try going to our next destination, which is in the positives. And let's try going this way. So let's get an idea of where we are again. So I think our little spot over is over here. I think we're over in this area. All right, so we're just gonna go straight this way. Now, what we wanna get to is 24 and we want like 1100. So that's what we're gonna try for. And we'll see if that gets us on. So we're already by 24. So now we just go double the directions right here. So we're just gonna go exploring this way, take our little brush with us, see what we can find. I'm curious if in Peaceful, you can also even like find the trail ruins. I wonder if that's like a thing, but it's not like, that's gonna like interrupt you being able to play on peaceful. So like, that doesn't really make sense that you couldn't find them, but it is something to like note. Cause I kind of expected the ocean monument to have the like guardians in it, but it didn't. And so I wonder, oh, this definitely seems like it's more of like the direction we'd wanna go. I'm also curious if we can see any of our little land markers. Oh, it's like a flower forest. That's pretty. And we'll actually put our shaders back on because it's just way cuter. And then we're at 34, so we're just gonna keep going this way. I think we'll actually find a little trail ruin going this direction because this is heading us towards like taiga and i've heard that that's more so where you end up finding the trail ruins and hopefully we'll find some trims i would love it so much if we could find some trims in here because i i haven't actually looked up what trims you can find in trail ruins so it'll just be a fun little adventure to see what we uncover we'll probably spend maybe like 10 or 15 minutes if we find it just kind of looking around otherwise i do just want to bring us to our ancient city see if we can find any more chests see if we can find any more diamond armor all of the goodies so we want 24 so we'll go this way okay 20 this is good now we'll just go to 1100 so we should just run across it at this point like this seems like we're just going to bump into it. And I don't want to get poked a bunch. So we're gonna zig and zag. And then on the other side of this. Nope, we wanna go this way. 24, 1100. We've got 24. Oh, and there's another wolf. Look at that. 11. And 92. Hello, I'd like to come through. It's nice that using my brush to get through spruce doesn't actually like hurt it. Okay, so 24 and 1192. We'll see. Does this actually get us what we want? Hmm. Mm hmm. And I don't think so. Because I'm at 1192. This gravel. 24 and 1192. Interesting. Okay. Well, I, I thought I had the right cords for two of them. We already like went looking. But I think what we're going to do is just go towards the ancient city that we have. That's probably our best guess. And I wonder... Oh, here's one. Where am I? Am I like super, super close? Let's just like fully pan. Oh my. Oh my. Yep. 
I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Okay, well, this one... Okay, well... <laughs> I was literally so confused. I'm like, how on earth can I not find this? Yeah, those cords are different. I don't know. I was using the seat finder, but that's odd. But, oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, a candle. It looked like the top was purple. I was very confused. Okay, let's explore this. Let's scoop the dirt away. Oh, this is so cool. I've never, like, explored one of these. I'm so pumped for this. Let's, here's to hoping for quite a few of the little shards, the trims, all the goodies. Oh, I need to be careful with the gravel. Okay, yes. All of this gravel is the stuff I can get rid of. Okay, I think I see... Some... Oh, that was one of them. Okay, I need to be more careful. Ooh, and bricks, I like that. Okay, maybe I'll try to like leave these and just like go scoop around the outside. We'll try it that way. I'm like so paranoid now. I, like, don't want to accidentally... Ooh, we've got a slab. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. You look normal. You look normal. You look normal. You look normal. You're special. <gasps> Yay, it's a trim! Oh, goody, goody! Oh my gosh, yes! <gasps> we got razor. Okay, so I need to find three trims in total. That is my goal. So that's kind of what I want to look for, is just finding more of the trims. And all of these look the same. I also need to be careful the order at which I remove gravel. That gets a little bit scary. Okay, you're special, so let's dust you. Oh, that's just stained glass. I think these archaeology digs are so cool just because you kind of get to like make up your own story about like how these people came to be here like why is this so like buried and like hidden like what happened how did they get like this you kind of can like make your own story in minecraft just out of these ruins which is like a really cool thing to do all right, we've got another candle. It's interesting that it's like purple at the top. I was like very confused at first. That's a normal gravel. That's a normal gravel. These are all normal from what I can see. Oop, this one's this one's special. Okay, we got pottery shirt. I just want to find two armor trims. <gasps> Ooh, we got one of the shirts. Oh, it's a friend, so it's a villager face. That's fun. Okay, I just need a few more trims. All I'm looking for is trims. So I think I can like break into these walls and let's see if we can find a different area. I'm also curious, how far does this go? Oh, wow, this goes pretty far, okay. I'm glad, like, I can actually, like, see around it, because I was super confused by that other area when we, like, couldn't find one. I was like, did I go the right way? I don't even know. But I'm curious, how far down does this go? Oh, these are, like, stairs. Ooh, this is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna put torches in my offhand just so you guys can see, and then maybe just start, like filling in some of those okay this is so cool and honestly like if we don't get like a whole lot of oh here's another one okay let's check this if we don't get a whole lot of trims i might just like take what i have and then oh, clay <laughs> interesting okay i might just like take what i have and go just make what i can 
And I need to be careful. You look like you're normal. Okay, you're special. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is probably wheat. Am I just at a funny angle? Oh, it's a sign! Interesting! I didn't know you could get signs in here. Okay. I was confused. Yes, that's fine, though. Um... Okay, gotta be careful. Don't want to accidentally break one of them. I also think it's like really cool. Like it's it's annoying mechanic, but it's also really cool that you like have to be very very delicate with what you're doing. <gasps> oh yay, we're getting another one. Is this different? <gasps> oh, it's different. That's even more fun. Oh my gosh, yay. So we have three. We have Wayfinder and Riser. I think these are the only two that I can like acquire in here. Uh, I could be wrong. Oh, I thought that was one of the special ones. I was like, I just broke it. We'll look a little bit longer in this one and just see what we can find. Oh, here's two. Okay, let's see. That's a candle. This is a wheat, a name tag. What are you? Oh, beetroot seeds. Interesting. <laughs> a lot of these I don't really, like, need to grab, so I'm just gonna keep my inventory pretty, like, full so that I don't just pick up random things that additionally I don't need. But like I was saying, I really like how there is the mechanic where, like, you can accidentally, like, break the gravel and you, like, lose the artifact that was in it, right? Because it, like, teaches you, like, you have to be careful with what you're digging up. And I think that just like teaches you, you know, oh, this is a wooden hoe, nice. But it teaches you like when it comes to archeology span and looking for artifacts, like you do have to be very careful. Like you can't just be willy nilly breaking things, you know, like it kind of teaches you some of that like patience of like, okay, like be careful, check what you're getting rid of, like make sure you're not just dropping gravel that has an artifact in it like things like that i think it's like kind of like a cool a cool thing you know like they didn't need to make that mechanic in the game but they did which i think is super fun i'm just trying to be very careful of what gravel i am removing We'll just try for a little bit longer to find some goodies in here. I do love that like there's coarse dirt in here, there's regular dirt, like there's bricks in here. Like it's all just fun to find, fun to find stuff. I also feel like I'm like, oh, there was one. Yep, wasn't going slow enough. Uh, I was gonna say, I really like how there's just, like, hallways. I feel like I'm, like, dusting, scooping down, like, a hallway of some sort. Which is kind of cool. Ooh, here's one. I almost picked you up. Uh, Lapis? Lapis. Don't need you. And these are all normal looking. And these are all normal looking. It's always hard when like you think you're looking at a normal piece of gravel and it ends up being one of the like artifact pieces. And then you're like, oh, okay, just breaking things. <laughs> breaking artifacts, it's fine. I'm fine. I think what's more sad is like if you accidentally break one of the little pieces that you think has like a sniffer egg in it because you're like oh i don't know if i just killed a little guy or not you know that's the one i always get a little sad about i think more sad <laughs> just because i'm like that could have been a sniffer and i will never know <gasps> no it was another one. Oh, dang it okay this is for sure one right okay this is a candle Yep, I'm finding a lot of these green candles. No, it happened again. Okay, I need to clear this. Okay, let's dust this. Another candle, lovely. 
pipi. Okay. Another one. Pottery shirt. Okay. Oh, and it's another friend one. Nice. Oh, these are just so cool. Okay, we're gonna scoop this area out. We'll see what we can find over here. And I don't see any special ones, so we'll just completely scoop these ones out of the way. No special ones yet. These all look pretty normal. These look normal as well. Okay. I'm just so nervous that I'm just gonna like end up having a gravel piece like fall down and then I just break something. Oh, it's a lead. That's cool that you can get leads in these. That's good to know. I had no idea you could get leads. That makes it fun. Cause then it's like, if I don't find a wandering trader, I don't find slime, I can look for one of these little trail ruins if I've come across that first, that is. That's kind of neat. All right. What'll it be? A brown candle. Sometimes I try to like figure out and guess what it is before it like pops out. And sometimes it's like actually hard to tell. Um, this is one. This looks like it's lapis. That's my guess. Because this bright blue is usually just, yeah, lapis. It's also funny you can get, like, lapis in here. Because, like, then you could just totally go along the story plot of, like, they were also, like, advanced enough to, like, enchant things, you know? Which is kind of, like, fun to imagine as well. Okay, this is one. Alright, this is a pottery shirt as well. Oh, and I didn't even notice this was one as well. This is a sign, a hanging sign. My uh, shovel is getting to the end of its life as well. Hmm, I'm hoping that we could find more of the, the templates. I feel like that was pretty lucky that we just found some templates right away. Like, that's pretty sweet. Okay, and this is... What? Hello? Am I by... I'm not even... Okay. I thought I was going to be by some... Uh... Oh, spooky. Oh. oh, it's coal. Yeah. I was like, ooh. That genuinely sounded, though, like I was uh, in a mine shaft. So I was like, do I have a mine shaft near me? Like, that was a funky little noise. A silly little noise. Um, I will take these trims. I think the trims are the fun things to have. Oh, we have a heart pottery and a heart broken one. Oh, it's kind of sad that you get both. Okay, I'm about to break this silk touch one. So we're going to just put them away. Whoa, a loom? I didn't know you could get like job blocks in here. Oh, that's so cool. What would be really fun to do is to like transform one of these trail ruins into like a livable place where you could like have your uh, villagers live down here again, right? Because there's like a loom in here. So if you just like leave the job blocks that are here alone and then you just like start bringing in villagers that like match those ones i feel like that could be sweet because then you're kind of just like you could restore a trail ruin and then you're like bringing the villagers back in that like lived in these areas so so long ago you know like that sounds kind of like a cool project And then, depending on the job blocks that you, like, find here, that's, like, the types of villagers you get, right? Like, 
You could have it be a fun little challenge where like you don't get to choose what you find, like what villagers you get. You just uncover it and then that's what you end up getting. All right, I feel like I'm kind of like getting this area all like cleared through. I'm not really feeling like I'm finding a whole lot over here. Oh, it always scares me when just I see gravel just dropping because I'm like, what if this is one of the shoes? Okay, I see one of the shirts right there. Let's try again. Um, orange dye. Yep. Just orange dye. These are so cool. I love that you just get to like explore and dig things out and like find stuff. Like, look at this. This is so fun to kind of just get to like look around, like find stuff. Man, that's so cool. And so like over here, there might be some more stuff. Oh, there was one right there. So sad. I feel like I've probably just like removed at least three <sighs> at least three trims just by being careless as I was just like you need to make sure you're so careful with these this efficiency shovels just I have to be more careful with this one you all look normal you're special over there okay let's try you seeds it's kind of fun that you can just like tell by pixels you know pretty early on what it's gonna be okay now we can dust these away oh <gasps> i did it again oi how many of you are like cringing right now as I'm just like shattering like one after another? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Every time I like think I don't have any near me, I like find more and then they shatter and it's just so sad. All right. Ooh, are you a trim? Oh, yes, we've gotten four. Okay. Oh, wait, you can get multiple. What's this one? Shaper, razor, and wayfinder. Ooh, I didn't know you could have like a bunch of ones like this. Okay, well, we have three trims. How do I get out of here? And I do still think it would be fun to do a little adventure over to our ancient city. And then we'll like wrap up from there. Let's just go right in here. Oops, come on. Oh, this is a slab. <laughs> Watch this be a slab and that's why. Yeah, okay. It's like, why can't I place blocks? Wow, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. And let's just like do a little free cam that's what we've investigated so far <gasps> how cool is this oh i love that okay now we need to figure out how to get to our ancient city so i'm gonna quickly look up the cords so that we can go over there soon all right so i found the little direction we need to go and i'm gonna get rid of a bunch of this extra stuff in our inventory that i don't need mainly I guess I don't need all this extra dirt. We'll get rid of the doors. I'm so happy that we found three trims. Now we can have all of our armor have the trims on them. That's so, so good. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go towards positive two, 
2100 so we need to go south and then we also need to go to negative in the negatives so we need to go south and west so since this is going to take us the longest we'll go this way oh hey there's a chicken so we're gonna double our directions here but i'm also gonna kind of just like bob and weave through here but man, I'm so excited. We've got smithing templates. I think it's like super cool that Minecraft added smithing templates in different locations because like it makes me way more incentivized to go exploring and looking for different places, different like landmarks, different places to explore and things just so that I can actually like get the armor trims that I want and like if people I haven't really looked at all of the armor trims to know which ones I think are like the coolest as far as like combinations goes wow that did not work that I was gonna be so cool and like place a block to like land on <laughs> but like it just makes it so much more encouraging and exciting to go exploring because like if I know that I can get at least three armor trims from a trail ruin that makes me really want to go looking for more of them in my other series that i have going on right now my let's plays like that just is so much more fun and i love one of my favorite things about minecraft is just all right there's the village but i love just the exploring aspect of it i think exploring in minecraft is one of the most fun things because like the world just keeps on going you get to keep on exploring and if you're able to just you know have more reasons to go exploring other places it just makes it so much more fun all right so we're gonna go up this hill here and i think the village should be fairly close to where our entrance is that we were taking for the ancient city so we're just gonna hop up on the other side of this village i tried to make some landmarks which <laughs> since i uh lost the whole long play of me like coming over to this village looking around it and then going into the ancient city i do have landmarkers so we should be able to find a little cave entrance of where i need to enter and then we should just have a more like direct path down it's still like pretty deep down there so it might be a little bit crazy not as crazy as this uh like church like little little guy oh there it is this was my post okay where is this other way okay yay so there we go i gave myself a little landmarky thing and it just helps a lot and i think how far can i go not super far i like how it's just a random patch um let's just boat down That'll be probably be easier. Wee. There we go. Much, much easier. Okay. And then we'll just come over here and do some hopping to get up here. Okay. And up we go. I should have brought a saddle then i could have at least gotten a nice little horse friend to lead me around here i wonder if in trail ruins you could find horse saddles because i feel like that would definitely be something that would make sense to put in a trail ruin because there's already leads and you definitely want to have access to like a horse that you can lead them around but also just saddles i'm i would be curious if like if people are looking for saddles they would now have a reason to try just like looking for uh trail ruins to find them okay so this is my way down and we go in here so once again we're just going to boat our way down if i can actually like there we go and we boat Whee. okay and then we're gonna hop out of the boat pick up our boat and then i have to figure out which way i went down I think it was literally like right here yeah okay this was my little staircase 
to move my way all the way down. And I'm going to add some torches along the way here. Yep, and then we just kept on going. So I pretty much just like tunneled my way up once I knew like, okay, like it's time to leave. We're going back up to the surface. I'm also going to like remove some of this so I don't bonk my head. Hi. Here's my furnace. Um, I don't know which way I went to get down into the ancient city now. Oh, I found diamonds though. Ah, that's what it was. Okay, so this is my fortune three pick and we have enough space for diamonds so let's get some diamonds all collected i'm glad i went down here <gasps> 10 oh my gosh that's amazing okay oh i didn't want to pick up these things was there anything more oh no here we are okay this is my whole setup. So I've already been here collecting a little bit of stuff. So I've got an unbreaking hoe as well. We have a fortune efficiency one. So this was my little area. So what I'm going to do is set up my bed here. Oh, I guess we can also sleep. That works too. So I'm going to set up my bed area, but this is the city. So if I just free cam for you, we've already looked in some of the chests. So I always try to break the chests that I've found so far, but we're just going to look to see if we can find any more trims. We'll do like a once through. We'll just like break all the chests if we don't need the stuff. And then we're going to make our way back home. But it seems like it's pretty big. Like it also intersects with a mine shaft, which is really cool. Uh, this is terrifying. It's a, like, spawner, <laughs> kind of, like, above this, but, yeah, it's pretty large. Oh, wait. <gasps> Whoa, I've never seen ice over here. That is cool. Is this that little... <gasps> what? I've never seen this room. Okay, I'm so curious to check this out. I know this is a little bit cheaty, but, I mean, we're in peaceful. Like, we're not really, like, trying to do a whole lot. We're just gonna explore look around, see what we find, and just have a good time in here. So yeah, we're right by the portal, and down over here is our little water stream, so I'm gonna leave, we'll probably leave all of our like trims and diamonds and things in here just for safekeeping. I think that's smart. And okay, I think we're good. So let's go have some fun exploring this area and find some new chests. I know for a fact I can uh, fall, I can die to fall damage, so I don't want that. But even though we get these little wiggly sounds, they don't actually trigger anything. So I'm curious if they're ambient. We're gonna turn them down a bit. No, let's see. I don't think they're hostile creatures either. I don't know what they would be called, but we'll just turn them down. They're probably a block, honestly. Okay, so, ooh, there's that ice. Let's go down over here, shall we? I think there's also a way to get like in here. Right, isn't there like stuff in here as well? We just go exploring in here. Oh yeah, there was. Okay, I wonder, I feel like I'm on display wandering through here. I think these rooms are also so cool. Like, it teaches you. Oh, interesting. Is there something out here? Oh, wow, it's so cool. Like, you can flick different levers for things. You place a book down there. You hit the target and it does something different. It's just so fun. I think things like this are just the coolest. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm going to turn these guys down a little bit. I don't know what they're considered. Uh, what's nice is that I won't actually end up spawning one of the wardens. I just usually will pick them up because they're just loud. So, so loud. And we don't need them being that loud. Okay. So we're going down this way. Oh, there's a chest. Let's take a little peeky. Oh, that is dangerous. 
Any armor, swift sneak. Oh wow, all the swift sneaks. Nice. I don't need swift sneaks, so I'm not actually I'm actually gonna just leave those there. My main priority is just seeing what armor we can locate. So that's what I'm like actually caring about, finding more so than just most everything else. So that's ooh. That's cool. What about this? Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is like distraction things. Let's see what the suspicious dude does though, huh? <gasps> Night vision. That's helpful. <gasps> Whoa. I like the night vision. It doesn't last very long though. But that's very nice. And flick this open. I think it'll just close behind me. Okay, so we went here. Let's hop on this other way. Oh, there's a geode mixed in here too. That's so pretty. I love that. All right, let's go exploring. Oh, here's another one. I don't think I'm gonna find much in here. Oh, hi, dude. How's it going? I'm just gonna get rid of you. Potatoes? That's hilarious. Okay, well, this is also not the, the most exciting things, but it's kind of cool. Like, I like that there's like some iciness. That's kind of cool. Kind of neat. Okay, so then let's just go around this side of things. It's weird that there's like a giant little mine shaft kind of intersecting this, but it's super cool. And now we're just looking for chests. Let's see if we can get up a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, we've come from over here. I'm trying to like mark out areas that we've already been. Man, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of wool there. Okay, oh, here's some chests. Alright, I'm gonna grab the, I call you guys the wiggly worms. They're just so, so loud. Grab the wiggly worms. Oh, some more pants. Oh gosh, all of the, uh, the things you don't necessarily want. Um, we'll grab a name tag. We can name one of our doggos. That's always a fun thing to do. I feel like there has to be something in in here. Like, this feels like you just... Unless this is just, like, a pile of wool so that, like, if you don't come in with wool, you can at least, like, go find it. But to me, this seems like someone was, like, really just burying some uh, chests or something just to keep it a little bit safe. But maybe I'm, like, totally wrong. This just seems like something that would do that. Oh, there's stairs here. Interesting. Just such a like odd little area to find. At least in my opinion, I think it's very interesting. I don't think there's anything here though. Strange. Very strange. Okay. But it's still fun to like explore it. See what's around. Oh, and there's carpets. Interesting. Well, I don't need carpets. Um, let's try going this way. Oh, there's another wiggle worm. Let's just get rid of the wiggle worms. They're just so, so loud. Wow, there's three of you little wigglers. My goodness. Not what we need. Um, enchanting. Other side. Loyalty. I don't really need any of this, so we're just gonna leave that alone. We'll grab the wiggly worm, though. Don't need a wiggle worm. And then we'll just get rid of these guys. Okay, and then we're gonna run around the outside edge here. Ooh, let's go this way. I'm trying to just like place down... Oh, this looks like something. Oh, so loud, so loud. So many wigglers. Okay, and we'll put you guys away. I do like that I can just get enchanting. This is how I was getting uh, enchanting to get my original group of tools all nice and prettied. Ooh, a diamond. This is my fortune pick. Let's grab some diamonds, because if I can't find, like, diamond armor... Oh, and there's some up there, too. If I can't find enough, like, diamonds to make all the armor that I need, at least I know that I can, like, make it from just collecting diamonds, because we are down at the level that we'd want to be at for diamonds. Okay, so there was six here, which is perfect. I'm a big fan of that. 
Oh, that was a glow squid. I'm like, what is that? All right, let's go up here next. See what we find. I feel like there's going to be some wigglies. Yeah, get rid of the wiggle worms. I don't need the wiggle worms here. And then we'll just hop up here. And an enchanted golden apple. That's cool. Um, I guess, like, we can take it. Kind of neat. Not needed, but kind of neat. And then let's see what's over here. So we've already checked that chest. All right, let's look over here next. All right, so there's a chest. Oh, there's two chests down there. Okay, that's what we're going next. Got to get rid of all the, the screenies and the wiggle worms, though. Those are the, the only things that are really, like, annoying about it all. Um, let's go this way. There's also, like, diamonds over here. Let me... How do I get in here? We'll just probably pillar up. Oh, no. Here's the way in. All right. Get rid of the screamy. And the other screamy. And the other wiggle worm. And the other wiggle worms. Don't need these wiggle worms. Oh, there was literally a staircase. Um... Oh, those are... I mean, pretty decent for pants. Suit up. I just got that protection. I mean, I'll take the armor. Oh, I'm gonna need to make sure we put a little light above it. Oh, wow, a second one. Let's go. Silk touch, unbreaking, and efficiency. What do I have? Yep, we'll uh, we'll swap those out. Much better. Okay, so we've gotten these two chests taken care of. And I don't really think there's anything else, like, over here. This just seems like it's deep dark, and that's about it. So we're gonna kind of just, like, circle back over on this side of things. See what we can find over here. I'm running out of torches, but we can always make some more and put them in our offhand again. Oh, this is this is wool. My bad. Okay. So let's try to get up here. All right. And I'm guessing these little spots here are going to have some chests. We just got to get rid of the wiggle worms. No more wiggle worms. No thank you. No wiggles. No thank you. Don't need that. Swift sneak 2. That's a little bit better. Efficiency 5. Ooh, this one's way better still because it has silk touch on it. And, well, it's got unbreaking, I should say. So I'm not really finding too much for good... Where are you, Mr. Screamy? Oh, hi. Bye-bye. So we're not finding a whole lot more. I'm just really wanting to, like, quickly go around, check where the chests would be, and then we can make our way out. Um, oh, it looks like I missed these ones. So let's head back over here. Missed a bunch of them. Oh, did I miss this one too? I guess I did. Forgot that whole little section. Let's check this guy. Nothing interesting. And I think there's usually like a chest up here. Yeah, so let's check this out. And go over here. Check in here. Nothing that interesting. I'll take the cold just so we can like make more torches as we're out here. Usually there was like another chest out here. But I don't think there is. And, um, we've got one... Oh! We've got some right here. Oh, no, Mr. Squeamy Wiggle Worms. So many Wiggle Worms. Let's just turn this down. Let's just turn the master volume way down. So it's a little less crazy. We'll just ignore these guys. Okay, Mr. Wiggle Worm, I don't like you guys being around. Um, I'm getting just a lot of pants. Protection and unbreaking. Oh, we're swapping you out. Yayo. Swift sneak three. Nice. Okay, we'll put you there. And I don't think I'll need these pants. So we'll just say that we got you guys taken care of. And let's go here. So there's a chest right there. So we'll go check you out next. Use some of this. Get rid of the wiggle worm guy. And then Curse of Vanishing. 
not what we're looking for, but that is okay. And uh, we're going to start... What was I going to look for? I was looking for a different segment of this area. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think we want to go this way for a little bit. And because I think there was like a chest over here that I missed. But maybe I didn't mess up. I feel like I did just because like we have been just like adding. I wonder, do you only get pants here? Because <laughs> so far I'm only finding pants. But honestly, if I... Let me just see something here. If I pull out my enchanting. So I have six. So I can make boots out of four. So let's just put these on, okay? We've got boots for four, and we've got two diamonds left, and we had ten up there. So if we need a six, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six that we need, and we have ten. Um, we might have enough. I might just try to go look for a few more diamonds. Because if we only need four, and we had six, and then a helmet needs three, I think with three, and then one, two, three, four, five, that's only eight. And we had ten, so I think we actually are good to uh, head back home with what we have. The diamonds that we have should definitely be enough, but I think, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. We've, we've gotten diamonds while we've been down here. You guys kind of got to see what it's like to just be able to like set off willy-nilly all of the little spawner guys and not have to worry about them. We can just get rid of them as we go and, you know, not be too concerned about them just causing chaos and being loud and annoying. Which is a very nice, you know, thought to just not have to worry about them. I think I do need to be careful because the next time that we do one of these little adventures, I definitely will need to be careful. Because I will be doing this in just straight survival, which means the warden can come and try to get me, and I don't want that, so. <laughs> Now, we need to figure out the way that we're going to get out of here. I also think a super fun project in Minecraft would just be to work on... Oh, there's the thing. Work on just, like, converting one of these and transforming it into something. I think that would be, like, a really cool project for a more, like, long-term world. And, like, yeah, it would just be so cool because I don't... I know some people will transform these. I'm just going to check if there's a chest over here. Nope, just some candles. I know that like some people really like to do like bigger projects and taking one of these on to like transform it would definitely what I would consider like be a bigger project, but it would look so cool. And I think this is how we got up and out. So let's try to go this way for a second. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. We'll just see. We'll see if this is it. I think this is it. Cause I remember there was like some of the random just uh, like iron that was blocked up. Nope, this was the spot. Okay. Well, we've got 12 diamonds. So we've got pants. So we can put the pants on. And then we can make a chest plate. And oh, it looks like we don't have enough. Okay, so we need to go and find basically just one more diamond. I was, my math was just a little off. I couldn't remember exactly how many we had, but I did see some diamonds. So let's just go take a little look, see, see if we can quickly find a diamond pocket. Just like poking through. Oh, speaking of, that's lovely. Okay, let's go get those diamonds. We're going to just do some pillaring. Because literally, we just need like one more. So that's not going to take us that long to get. So we're just going to pillar up right here. We'll grab us some diamonds and then we'll go back home. And yeah, we can put the trims on. Oh, I'm nowhere near close. So whoa. Got to keep going with the wool. It is kind of fun to be like way above where we have one of the... Uh, ancient cities just to kind of see what it looks like above it okay oh at least two diamonds that's good i like that okay there we go all right this is still the fortune so we have four five 
Nine. Okay. Perfect. Yay. This is great. This is wonderful. Okay. Now we just uh, pill her down and go back up. I like wish... Actually, let's just make a boat. I'm totally fine if I just leave all this wool here, but like, let's just make a boat. Let's just do a little bit of a... Okay. I need to not have these in my offhand if I'm trying to place a boat, I guess. And then we just move our way down, and then we can have all our diamonds. Yay. Okay. And... Uh... I'll bring a boat again, and then we just go back up the water stream, and then I'll adjust my sounds again so that we can enjoy our little walk back. But I first want to get up and out of here. But it is super nice that we were able to find even more diamonds than I thought we would have. Awesome! Yay! Okay, so, oops, pick up the helmet, put that on my head. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to turn up my volumes again, since we're a little bit out of the craziness okay so now we get to just leave things behind that we don't want so i'm gonna leave the wool in here and we're gonna take all of these little guys back because it's just kind of fun to have them and we'll leave this hoe here as well um i'm actually going to bring this one back but now we have everything that i kind of wanted we've got diamonds we've got trims so now we can head back up and out of here. But that was our ancient city. That's where I was going to get XP. So if you're like in peaceful and you're trying to figure out a better way to get XP, it, I would honestly recommend going to an ancient city. One of my viewers commented that me going to an ancient city would probably be a really good way to just be able to get some uh, quicker XP versus just like trying to do other routes. So I was, I thought that was a great idea, honestly. I never would have thought to like go to an ancient city to get XP. Um, like, especially because it was like me very early in the world in the game. But I mean, we're literally playing in peaceful, so nothing can hurt us. So that was wonderful to kind of be like, oh, you're right, like I could just do that. Like that that would be great. <laughs> so so easy too. So now we get to start the journey to go back home. Now we are going back to positive 280. So we need to go down, so we need to go north, and then we're also going to a negative 209. So we need to go down this way. So that's so we just need to go west and north. So we're going to go this direction for a long, long ways. We'll grab the boat. We've got pillaring blocks. We need to like help ourselves up out of little areas here. But yeah, here's the other village we're going to go past that is all tucked away. So we're going down. Oh, hang on. Actually, we need to go east, northeast. Silly me. So we're going this way. Let's actually just hop in the boat quick. So north and east. Because they we want all of these to be positives. But we're going to go down on our z-axis first. Because we need to get to negative 209. So we're going to do that first. Ah, but man, just exploring in Minecraft is just like such a fun thing i think exploring and building are definitely like my two favorite things to do in minecraft like if anyone's ever like i wonder what red enjoys about minecraft those are the things just getting to explore through areas is super fun i love that we now have trail ruins to find we have the like suspicious gravel and sand that we can also just have some fun with just so many cool things to just find explore have a good time with. It is weird that I now have like armor on because I've just been not wearing armor this like entire time because I honestly didn't really like need need it. We're gonna just boat our way down here. There we go. But I am excited to just stick this on an armor stand kind of as our final accomplishment. 
but we get to pick a combination of which armor trims with the like material like if we want to use amethyst or gold or redstone but i'm curious to hear from you guys if you guys have been like using the trims what is your favorite combination i haven't messed around with them too much but i think it is like super fun to play with the different options so i am curious if you want to let me know what your favorite combinations are because i i know there's like sites where you can like see how the armor trim looks with certain like materials and so far I've just been using quartz for a lot of it but I have not gone to the nether in this world yet so for me it's not really gonna be like an easy thing uh to get quartz I don't feel like going into the nether <laughs> in this uh long play so we're just gonna like try some different materials I didn't take any amethyst shards so we'll see what we decide to use I feel like iron might be a simple one just because it's pretty just, you know, similar to the quartz. Just like a slight shade off. But maybe copper will look cool. So it depends on what these different armor trims look like, honestly, to me. So that's the part that I'm like the most curious to figure out is just... Oh, hello, B. How are you? Hello. Just, yeah, to figure out the combinations. But let me know. I feel like a lot of people talk about silence being the best armor trim, and I did get, ooh, hello, lava. Don't want to get stuck in you with all my goodies. This lava right now would be actually the worst. Can you imagine if I like end up finding all of these armor trims, we get more diamonds, we're fully geared up, and then I just, uh, it would be so sad if I just like died. <laughs> hello, cow. That would truly be tragic. That would absolutely be, like, the worst feeling. Because I just spent all the time doing it. Oh, there's a little foxy. Hello, buddy. Oh, you stayed asleep when I was running by you. That's kind of impressive. Normally, they just, like, run away. But foxes are one of my favorite Minecraft little, little guys. I think they're so, so cute. I think the bees and the foxes are definitely some of my favorite mobs. I think the arctic foxes are also super cute. Just so many fun mobs in Minecraft, honestly. Okay, so we've made it to the edge. And now I think we can just, like, boat along the shoreline. And uh, then we'll just make our way back home. I think we're in a good place. We're going down to the negatives on both our axes. Excuse me, squid. But I'm actually super curious to see how these different uh, smithing templates are going to look. I've never, I never thought that there was like three. I thought there was only two. But I had this like brief remembrance of like someone saying that you can find multiple there. So that's why I was like, hey, maybe it's worth just like checking out, seeing if it's something we can find. Okay, so now we're going in the right direction. The north and east is the, the way. So I think we'll be closer to our base area. And honestly, the only area that I really want to get close to is where we have our little mining outpost. So I think we're pretty close to it. Um, if I have free cam, or are we not close to it? No, we're not close to it. But we will take the boat because the boat will get us further faster it's also funny how this cape sticks straight out oh it goes with the wind like i love how it just like it's so speedy it just you know so speedy just zooming it is zooming <laughs> and it kind of like turns when i turn oh, i never even noticed that mechanic that animation that's actually kind of funny i never uh, realized that that's hilarious actually Okay, so then we're still checking our cords. So we're close on our X, and we still have quite a ways to go on our Z. We're just going to go around here. I feel like this is getting to be familiar, but I could be wrong. Sometimes, like, areas like this where it's just, like, forest for miles, you feel like you're close to stuff, but you're really, like, not even close at all. Like, in my head, I feel like I should be running into our village pretty soon here. But that is not the case. 
But we are getting closer. I think this is definitely helping us quite a bit. Just getting to boat places. But it does take a bit sometimes, you know? It is interesting that we would have had for the Minecraft mob boat in 2023, we're deciding on, we decided on the penguin, armadillo, or, oh, there's our little thing. Oh, that means this area should be our, uh, our, our spot. This should be our area right around here. But it is really interesting that like we were going to have either the penguin, armadillo, or the crab to choose from. And like the penguin was supposed to like help you go faster in boats. Which is really interesting. Like, I would enjoy that. Um, I think any of the mob boats, the mob boat options were, like, good options. So I think it was just going to be, like, fun either way to see what we end up having as, like, our final option. And I think the armadillo is going to be really fun to have. Oh, there we are. Perfect. Now we get to make a smithing table. But I think it'll just be really cool to just, you know, be able to have... A little armadillo in the savannah just making it feel like it's more alive there we get dog armor i'm gonna put our boat here just to remind us that we went on an adventure now let's make a sn i almost said a sniffing a smithing table okay now let's uh let's see what we can do here let's put this like here okay so we put the template we put the armor and the thing okay so let's look at these oh hang on we gotta put things away we gotta put the unneeded items away let's get rid of these guys don't need the diamonds actually i'll leave the diamonds um i don't know if i can use gunpowder but i'm just gonna like grab it just in case we can use some redstone maybe that's like an option um any other blocks we can build with in here i think we can use like copper i'm gonna grab some things from down here in our chest we can use copper and lapis and different things so we'll just take some of this upstairs in case we want to try it out so we've got that we'll take some more iron i don't think we have anything else but we're just gonna get a little armor stand and put this up in our little house there oh and i definitely left the bed that i was traveling with so let me just quickly take a snooze and then uh, we will be in a good spot okay so now submitting templates so let's do this and let's try iron okay we'll try redstone so that one is kind of just like a little thing like that i'm gonna use the redstone so i can like tell it apart so we've got the riser wayfinder is just like a little bit of trim there let's try the helmet okay and then did i not take off the rest of it oh yeah i didn't have space i was like where did it go so riser we tried that on we were trying redstone now we did the hat, so it's just a little like rim. The leggings, just like a little belt kind of a thing. And the boots, okay, kind of just like a little V. Okay, so riser we're trying. Wayfinder on the boots. Looks really similar, I would say, like very, very similar. Just a different like V, the V is more at the top and it's more like straight. So then let's try the pants. Okay, that one looks nice. Again, I feel like some of these are kind of similar. Still different, but that one looks pretty nice too. Let's try the chest plate. Yeah, the chest plate on Wayfinder versus Riser is super similar. Okay, maybe not if I go in between them. But we're looking at Wayfinder, so then if we get that. Okay, so it just changes the pattern. So Wayfinder is what we're considering, okay. And then Shaper is our last one. So Shaper. Okay, just kind of like a nice little thing around it. Ooh, just like a nice edging. I kind of like that. But let's try the pants. All right, and the boots. 
Hmm, I think... What was it? Was it... I think I liked this for the boots. But let's try some different materials. Okay, copper. Oh, I kind of like that. Diamond honestly looks a little cool too. Just saying. Okay, so then we've got the boots with the iron. Okay, I think that uh, lapis looks really cool, but I think copper also looks really cool. Okay, so let's do, let's see what this one looks like. I like this edging on Shaper. Let me see Shaper on the shoes again. Oh, I think I really liked Shaper, but I think I like Shaper the best on the the chest plate but i do want to quickly run and grab let's grab this with us because we're gonna go and look at our silence one because i think so many people say silence is really cool so that'll be kind of our like last one but so far i think i like the idea of putting shaper on our chest plate i think that's one of the ones i'm really considering so i'm really curious to see what i'll think of putting the the silence and mixing and matching with that because i think it has kind of like lines on the side, like little stripes, but maybe I'm like forgetting something. And I think we also have like some gold back home too, which might look cool. I know a lot of people will like, you can make gold armor with like black on the sides because I think you can use coal. I could be wrong, um, but I've seen people make kind of like uh, tiger stripes out of the armor trims, which I think is super cool. So let's grab that one. And then we'll just put our little armor trims somewhere in one of our little fishing dock areas because we're going to end by a fishing dock to kind of go back over them. But let's just try on this armor trim. I think it'll look so, so cool. Okay, so we'll just place this down right here. We'll grab silence, and I guess I had gold armor here, um, but let's just see what silence looks like on the chest plate. Let's put some of this. Oh, wow. Okay, so that definitely looks like the warden. Oh, wow. That looks like a lot of color. Wow. Ooh, I kind of like diamond. That looks so cool. But let's try it on the other ones. Okay, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so that's a cool helmet as well. Let's try the boots. Oh, wow, the pants. Okay, silence actually does look really cool. Sometimes I like don't want to agree with the, like, the masses of people that are like, this is the cool thing. Just because it's like, I don't know if I actually think it's the cool thing, but okay, silence is definitely a cool armor. I think I like silence with diamond on the pants, but I also think it looks really cool on the chest plate. Um, I honestly might put it on the pants because I like the design on the pants more, which some people might think it's, you know, weird, but I think if I try, which one was it? I think Shaper. Yeah, I think I like Shaper. I have four diamonds, so I honestly could just use diamonds on this because I like the slightly blue that it adds. But I think I might do Shaper. We've got Silence. I think I might do Shaper for the trim here. But I'm just checking them through. Yeah, okay. So we're going to do Shaper in Diamond on my chest plate. <gasps> crafting a new look and then we'll do silence on my pants here with men with the protection and unbreaking i kind of want to use the mending unbreaking ones not that i need to but mending and breaking just feels like a safer you know thing to do when i'm putting silence on something but we've got our pants as well and we could also like upgrade these and then let's look at We'll use the redstone again for the contrast. So it's either riser or wayfinder. Okay, and then let's put the boots on. Okay, so riser, let's try riser on the helmet again. 
All right, I think I like rise around the helmet. So we'll do this. And I do really like using diamonds. So we're literally just gonna be bougie about it. And then, oh, not the pants, not the pants, the boots. Cause then all of these have diamonds. And I think, yeah, I like these as well. So we've got our full set. Okay, so let's go outside and put these on. There we go. Oh yeah, the pants look so cool with silence. And the helmet and the shoes. Oh yeah, I definitely like the look of silence being on the pants. Like if I just, yeah, look at that. There's our little outfit. <gasps> I really like diamond, honestly. I feel like putting diamond on it is like the most bougie of the most bougie, but it looks so, so cool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to grab some more stone because I wanna make an armor stand. We'll go like so, we'll grab this one. And then I want to make an armor stand so we can put all of our goodies inside our chest and armor stand. So I need sticks next. So once this gets all ground up, I'm going to grab a piece of iron because we're going to need to make another cutting stone cutter. I keep on running out of stone cutters, it seems. So we're going to put one out here. And then I need... I think three of these, if I'm not mistaken. Because you need three slabs across the bottom, I'm pretty sure. So now with sticks. And let's see here. Armor stand, armor. Okay. Oh, it was just one. Oh, I had way more than I needed. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. And then our last little piece is putting our armor stand down by our fishing dock. I love how this looks with the diamond, the pants especially. I think silence on the pants is my favorite. I think having silence on the chest plate looks very much so like the warden and I think that's probably why a lot of people like it. I'm curious what you see when you look at the silence on the chest plate, because to me it reminds me of the warden, for sure. Okay, so let's do this, and let's move this here completely. Let's get rid of this, and this will be where we have our final armor set, just getting to hang out. Let's put them all down here. Okay, so we've got the hat chest plate, the shoe, the leggings, and the shoes. And there we go. We've got a fully decked out armor trim diamond armor with diamond accents. And we got them from the ancient city and from a little, little trail for one. And I think that's really great. But now that we've done that and got that, gotten that completed, that is all the time I have for this long play, and that also concludes the entire autumn long play series as we are going to be moving into a winter one since it is November and we're about to be in December next week. So I hope you've enjoyed all of the builds that we've made in this little autumn long play series with our starter home, our little crop area, we've got our animal barn, our enchanting tower, we made our little fishing hut, our little mining outpost, cottage, and then our mineshaft, minecart system, all the way down to the layers where we're collecting diamonds and different ores. And then these fishing docks that we made in both our fishing hut cottage area and by our mining outpost area as well. I hope you've enjoyed these long plays in autumn and I hope to see you in the winter ones and I hope you have a wonderful day.